Greetings, greetings, folks, and uh, welcome to Channel Other Doc. Uh, I am Jim, I use he, him pronouns, and today we are playing Weird War 2, a Savage Worlds game that is one of uh, Pinnacle's Weird Wars settings, uh, where supernatural horror comes alive in the fog of war. Um, what am I doing? I'm doing something. Oh, yes, let us, uh, <laughs> just making sure the sound is working, and it appears to be. That's good. Um, let's go ahead and go around and say hi to our recruits and uh, see, see, uh, see. Well, let's see who they are and who they're playing. Uh, we are going to start today with Pope. Hello. Hey, everybody. Pope here. It's good to be back on Channel Other Doc, and it's good to be crawling around back in the Savage World system for some weird war too. I'm going to be playing uh, our Corman. Horace Fairbanks. Hopefully, I won't be needed at all this game. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. That that's you know, you know, one one never knows. One never knows. Um, now let us continue on over to Kurt. Hello. Hello. I am Curtis Jackson. I am going to be uh, the always necessary guy with the booms, Corporal Vincent Franklin Bushino, straight out of Brooklyn. I'm ready to. Uh, uh, wire it up, blow it up, tear it down, whatever is necessary. Any and, and, and any and every of those things uh, is, is right. what I suspect. Okay, very cool, very cool. <laughs> and uh, let us head on over to a new face on the channel, Flounder. Hello. Hello, I'm Flounder the Twelve. Uh, this is my, as I said, as uh, Jim just said, I am new here. I am so happy to ch check this out. First time playing uh, World War. Weird War 2, um, and I'm playing Specialist Uriel Tanad. I'm known for not being known and knowing things. Excellent. Good, good. That is an excellent combination. Um, and uh, now let us head over to yet another new face on the channel, Ellen. Hello. Hi, my name is Ellen. Uh, I like D&D, and this is my first foray outside of the the D&D world, so I'm super excited. Uh, my character's name is uh, Billy Joe Blevins. Uh, he's a good old country boy from the Appalachian Mountains, and he may not have much school in, but he can feed a whole family with just a hunting knife, so don't count him out. Excellent. <laughs> very cool, very cool. I'm very I'm looking forward to this. Um, and uh, now, finally, uh, over to Chavi. Hello. Hello! Thanks for having me again, Jim. I will be playing uh, Specialist Theo Murphy. Uh, a um, well, he's good with his gun. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's that's all you need to know as far as the job goes. But uh, uh, he's got some interesting things going on that hopefully we'll shine through. This is good. This is good. Yes, that's right. That's right. A number of interesting things probably are going on. Um. <laughs> Uh, do our jobs right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who knows? Who knows what happens? Um, okay, well, uh, before we dive in fully here, um, as a reminder, like we do with most games on this channel, we're going to be using the X card, the N card, and the O card. Uh, if we hit something that's crossing a line for one of us, any of us can type an X in the Zoom video chat or anywhere else or make an X symbol, and we'll back up and do something else. Uh, if something happens that we're okay having in the game, but we don't want a graphic description of it, we can type an N in the Zoom chat, and we'll fade to black on it or put it behind a veil. So it'll be there, but we won't go into detail. Uh, finally, if we're exploring a topic or an area of roleplay that's particularly intense for us, but we want to keep going anyway, uh, we can put an O in the chat to let, uh, to let us know that we're doing okay and that we're all good to keep piling on the drama. Uh, something else we can do is put an O with a question mark after it when we're moving into a difficult topic. Or if we say or we do something and then think, maybe that might have been a little too much, um, then everyone else can respond to that again with an X, an N, or an O to let us know if we're still doing okay. So... Um, it is uh, early in 1944. Um, uh, uh, Normandy has not happened yet. Um, the the Americans have gotten to the have started getting involved. Um, in, uh, in you know and that that's that's been some time you know in the uh, in 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 World War II. There is a however um, every now and then. Sometimes there are things that happen in the uh, in the midst of war that uh, require a tiny bit more direct attention 
Um, and this is one of those times. Um, there is a division, the uh, Office of Special Investigations. Um, that's really all anyone, for the most part, most people know about it is that it's is the, the OSI. They're not sure. Uh, but uh, every now and then they'll pluck people up and just throw them into a place. Um, and, uh, and then those people usually get transferred afterward. Um, but, uh, it's, uh, it's a thing where, uh, we need to, where they will, uh, you know, they kind of want you to check something out. In this case, uh, you have been uh, airdropped, uh, in the south of France. Uh, you're in the, uh, in a town, uh, call, or not, you're not in the town, you're actually kind of close to a town uh, called Laurent. Uh, this is a fictional town, this town does not exist. Um, <laughs> but, um, but it is, uh, it's approximately 30 miles east of, of Toulouse, uh, for anyone who knows, uh, who knows France. Um, so it's, you're kind of in the uh, sort of foothills of the Pyrenees Mountains um, type area. So it's very hilly, basically, around here. Um, so... They've suspected that um, one of Himmler's people has, uh, has come out to pick something up in this area. They've sort of zeroed in. They're, 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 what, uh, what our spies tell us is they're going for something in this very specific location. It's a graveyard. Um, and uh, we don't know what it is. Exactly. But basically, if it's something transportable, uh, we would like to have it instead, please. Um, that's basically the idea. So uh, the idea is to, uh, it, you know, either if it's something dangerous, you can eliminate it if, if need be. Um, but um, if, it, but uh, if you have a choice in the matter, they said, uh, try to try to bring it back relatively intact. Um, obviously, they, this is a, this is something where you, we, you know you're, you're not to uh, you know you're going to be very near a town, so uh, you have to be very careful engaging with civilians because it is an it is technically it's an occupied town. Um, so uh, there there will be Germans there, uh, <laughs> but. Uh, Hopefully, hopefully you won't have to worry about that. Uh, the idea then is you retrieve this, whatever it is. Find and retrieve whatever this is, and uh, you're going to be picked up. It's it's getting on towards uh, towards nightfall right now. You're going to be picked up in a uh, there is a field uh, approximately two miles east of here um, that uh, they're going to pick you up in in the morning. There's an abandoned farm um, that they're uh, going to come and get you in. Uh, uh, in, in one of their planes. Um, and uh, so, you know, one way or the other. So, those are the basics of the mission. Now, as you are approaching this graveyard, you're coming through the underbrush. There are plenty of trees and what have you surrounding the graveyard. Um, and, uh, you know, you should be able to... Uh, those of you who are playing should be able to see this graveyard in Roll20. Um, I am going to be uh, momentarily um, providing uh, some things to you. Um, but in the meantime, as you are coming through the underbrush and you're looking in, you can hear already there seems to be voices coming from the graveyard as we're hitting twilight. Uh, there appears to be some degree of shouting going on a little bit, but it's like, it's sort of a, it's not a, like a panicked shouting right now. It's more of a, um, it's more of a, uh, just sort of commanding shouting. Um, and, uh, as we are all approaching, we're going to pan the camera around. And I'd like you to let us know what it is that we see, uh, just what your character looks like and what it is that they, if anything they appear to be doing as you are, as we, we come down and we see you uh, heading toward 
this, uh, this graveyard. And uh, I'm going to continue going in the same order I was going before. Uh, so we are going to start with Corporal Fairbanks. Uh, hearing the, the, the shouting in not quite discernible voices, uh, Horace has gotten his service pistol out and it's just making sure, like, checking his his extra clips for it on his, on his belt, going, uh, great, I couldn't, no, 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 no cake walks here. And just muttering to, it, to himself as he's realizing that, yeah, no, couldn't, couldn't just get here ahead of the enemy. No. Nah. No. No. When when does that ever happen? <laughs> awesome. And uh, then the camera sort of pans over, and we see uh, Corporal Pacino. What do we see? Uh, I obviously have not shaved in about four or five days. I've got a pretty uh, scraggly look going on. My helmet is pulled down tight, strapped on, ready for uh, things to get ugly. I'm looking through my binos, trying to see if I can get a better idea of the Nazi threat, the Nazi threat, uh, <laughs> and where uh, where I can obviously plant my first satchel bomb. Oh, he's good to have I got my 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 uh, just soggy, chewed up Lucky Strike. I know I'm not going to light it at all. I'm not mm -hmm. stupid. I'm not going to let them see where we're at. But of course, I really want a cigarette, man. I really, really, really want a cigarette. So One of those would be really this. good right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. As we continue panning over, um, we see a specialist Tenod. Um, so you, I see you see me standing, my back to a tree, facing the way we just came. I'm in a long uh, wool coat, uh, way too warm for this weather, but it's. Uh, it masks my shape. Can't really tell how, what, how big I am under it. And, uh, but I am not wearing my, um, my, the helmet given to me by command. It's, it's tied to the side of my backpack. Um, it's not aesthetic. And also, I'm not going to get shot in the head. Why do I need to put the helmet on? Why would you? What uh, would and then I have, that? like, I have my coat partly over, uh, like, my lower part of my face so that even more difficult to recognize who I am. And I'm currently looking at my rifle, making sure chamber's clear, everything's good, freshly loaded. That's always good. That's always advisable. Um, cool. And then as the camera continues panning, uh, we see uh, Private Blevins. What do we see? All right. Well, y'all can tell I can't grow a beard to save my life. Neither can my character. Um... <laughs> Billy Joe is going along. She's uh, he stowed his hunting knife and pulled out pulled out his gun, and he's just you know, waiting for a signal from someone else. But once once they once everyone gets ready to shoot, he'll be right there along with him. Awesome, awesome. Very cool, very cool. Oh, and I got short brown hair. Okay. Okay. And I'm wearing my helmet. Sorry. Okay. No, no, sure, sure. No, no, no. <laughs> Any and all details are appreciated. And uh, finally, the camera continues panning, and we will see uh, Specialist Murphy. What do we see? Yes. Uh, as the camera reaches uh, Specialist Murphy, he's putting something away under his jacket um, and pulling out uh, his own binoculars to take a, a look at what's going on. Um, he's uh, about five foot eight ish. Uh, has he has red hair, but you can't really see it under the helmet because uh, he knows probably better than a lot of people that getting shot in the head happens. Uh, he tends to try to do that occasionally himself. Uh, so um, he's got uh, his rifle kind of slung over. Uh, it's not out yet as he's using the uh, using his viewfinders, but he's um, you know just trying to take a look and assess the situation and then. Uh, he's not looking quite in the same spot as uh, Corporal Buccino, but he's like kind of scoping around from side to side, looking for different vantage points he might be able to get. 
Awesome. Excellent. Okay. So, as uh, as you all are uh, are approaching this, uh, again, it's uh, it's getting it's getting fairly dark. Um, but you can see they've got uh, they've got lamps. Um, this uh, this group of people they have not seen you yet, but you're probably you know um, but you're not yet you're not yet within uh, shall we say uh, detection distance um, per se, um, nor within shooting distance. Uh, but you see people moving around, lamps, a lot of and a bit of, a lot of scrambling around. What are you doing? Well, let's try and hear what they're saying. Uh, Which one of you guys speaks German? Speaks Nazi? That'd be me. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to... I'm not going to get any closer. First, I'm going to, like... I'm leaning on the tree. I slowly get forward, but while I'm doing that, I'm uh, trying to click in my head to see if I can pick up any... Uh, radio signals if they're talking over radio with each other because they're less than a mile away I'm assuming yeah yeah they're less than a day definitely less than a mile away so uh, I have radio head so I can um, pick up radio signals at my at, at will is there a uh, is there a role in, in, there's a role involved with that is there not I would assume so yeah, I believe there is that. I seem to recall from when I just looked at it a little bit ago um uh, Oh, there's a role not to uh, get a severe headache. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the, I get the smarts roll. Yeah, go ahead and make a smarts roll for me real quick, just so that we so can get an impression of what we have happening here. All right, let's see if I'm incapacitated for a long time because of a bad headache. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> That'd be the first thing to happen. Um, okay, you're good. Um, cool. Yeah, uh, basically, um, anytime uh, for for folks new to Savage Worlds, the way this works is that uh, you get to roll a regular die and a wild die because you are what they call a wild card. Um, so, um, anytime that you uh, you know whichever of the two dice is higher, that's your that's your result. You always get to pick the highest. Um, and in this case, you get a five, and we're looking for a four, as we will be in most cases. Um, so, yes. Um, you are going to be tuning in a little bit. I also just uh, to direct your attention up to the uh, the playboard up here. Um, I have given each of you three bennies. Um, these are things you can use to re-roll, um, or you can use them to soak damage when they when damage or attempt to soak damage when damage comes in. You can also do a number of other things with the bennies, and uh, that I believe is uh, yeah that's listed on the second of the reference cards that I have in there uh, in the handouts. Um, so you can feel free to look that over. Um, but uh, just as a thing to remember you have those. Also, please let me know if you have any edges or hindrances that adjust the number of bennies that you, you would have starting out. Um, it's, it's, so it's only like if you have like bad dreams or lucky or that kind of deal. Um, and uh, should you be able to move them? Well, we can make that possible. <laughs> You see if I can... Oh, you know what? No, right now you can't move them because, like a moron, I didn't make them movable. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll get around to that uh, shortly. I'll do that while we're, uh, while we're uh, uh, making things happen. Here. Here. I will give you new ones that you can move. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, that's, that's basically kind of what we're looking at. So, um, you were listening in, uh, specialist. Um... Can you remind me how, how how do you say how do you say the, the last name again? I was going with Tanad. Tanad, okay. Mm -hmm. um, specialist Tanad, you so you're listening in, um, and um, you are able to hear uh, a little bit. It's mostly right now. They're kind of they're. It's. Um, the radio operator is like talking to someone it sounds like who is in the town um, mm. and they're mostly just uh, they're kind of bored they're trying to um, they're trying to figure out what to have for dinner tonight uh, basically <laughs> um, 
Wiener schnitzel or Wiener schnitzel? I mean, you know, it's uh, they, it's uh, they, they're 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 willing to uh, these you know these are grunts. They're willing to 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 sample the local cuisine, um, but um, what you are here is you know this sort of thing is like uh, sort of is he uh, is is. Has, has His Majesty figured out what he uh, found, what he wants yet? Uh, uh, no, you see, well, he's very happy about something. He's smiling about it, so he seems to be. No, no well, he started shouting again. Yeah, no, that's not very good. It's, uh, yeah, and uh, you kind of overhear this sort of like this, this old. Uh, all right, all right, st stay back. Let me, uh, let me, let me examine it. Is what you hear this other voice sort of very much in the background, and. Um, it's excellent, excellent. And you hear this sort of the sounds of like it was almost like there's machinery of some kind mm -hmm. that they have. Not automated machinery. It's more like, uh, you know, um, winch type stuff maybe. Um, and uh, he's like, yeah, yes, we've got uh, well, we've got a hold of something. They're gonna any idea what it is? No ideas. They're just gonna throw it under a tarp, throw it in the tr in the truck, and take it out probably. All right. But he seems very pleased, whatever it is. Um. So what I'm going to do mm -hmm. is take out my binoculars and um, say, well, looks like they found something. It might not be what they're looking for. But from what I look like looking at this group, morale doesn't seem that great. There seems to be uh, some uh, disrespect for that person right there who looks like to be the leader of the group he's wearing uh so you've got your binoculars out um go ahead and make a notice roll for me please just so that i sure. can tell you what level of detail we're looking at here just me or is everyone with binoculars uh, you who have the binoculars out and are looking at at the graveyard okay yeah so yeah basically you see this guy um he is he's dressed in uh, very very dark gray, um, and he's a big sort of big overcoat. He looks kind of like a official, sort of some sort of official, and he is um, looking down. He's at, at something. You can't quite make out exactly what it is. It's like there's this big sort of it, there's this large wide sort of black object. You think, and again, it's it's yeah. fairly dark. But he sort of brought a lantern over this this wide black object, some kind of box or something that um, he's uh, well that he's kind of doing something with on top of it. Um, with his, you know, he's just sort of he's doing something with his hands. He's making some kind of gesture, also over it um, while this is happening. Never good. Um, uh, so as a point, since that was a D six and I rolled a six, it, could should I keep rolling it to see if I notice anything more? Roll twenty does it automatically. Oh, weird. Um, it it it, it anytime you uh, ace. Oh, yeah. and then it, okay, it was a one afterwards. Okay. Yeah. It's in green. Yeah. Yep. How far are we then, there, Warmaster? Probably. You, you are by now. Um. I, I I'm gonna say that you are you're less than. You're like something like a quarter of a mile. All right. So I Good. mean, you could, you could engage with them momentarily if you uh. Uh, if you needed to. There's one truck? There are no trucks up here. You are on a sort of a hilly sort of... Yeah, they're, they're in a hilly sort of forested area that's uh, a bit... It's above the town. It's not right... It's not exactly right next to the town. It's a little bit away from it. Um, there is... This is an old graveyard that probably looks like maybe it's fallen into disuse. It's kind of hard to tell from here. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it's 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 looks like a sl slightly overgrown graveyard. How uh, how close you need to be there, uh, uh, Murphy? Take a shot. Uh, that is a good mechanical game question that I'm not aware of. Uh... <laughs> oh wait, it's on my character sheet. That's that's a smart place to look. Though I don't know if it gives if it's giving me the range in inches any, or yeah. if it's giving it to me in 
Generally, it'll give you when it gives you a range. It'll probably if it's a small number, it's probably in inches. It usually gives you a number in inches, and then you can. Right. It's basically every inch is two yards. All right, I have twenty-four, forty-eight, and ninety-six. Presumably, okay. there's penalties involved for those ranges. Um, yeah, no penalty for within the within the twenty-four within the first one. Um, yep. In the medium, uh, so, so short range, no penalty. Medium, there's a penalty of minus two. Long range, there's a penalty of minus four. Uh, right now, you're still you would be at uh, at long range right if you tried to take a shot right now. Right. Is what we're gonna call it. All right. And actually, I didn't figure out what this did. I get a there's there was a scope as part of my package. Oh yeah. Yeah, I have the same scope. I think we have the same gun. So. That uh, that offsets. I probably think. yeah. Um. I think that a scope offsets one level of, uh, if I remember off the top of my head correctly, but I will, uh, I'll, I'll pull it up in a second. Um, should, should it become relevant, which I have a feeling it's about to be, um, <laughs> uh, the scope will do that. Yes. Okay, so it knocks off one. Off I the think it. I, yeah, I think it does. I'm, I'm actually just gonna reopen. I'm gonna reopen the thing just to make yeah. sure. Um, so I don't think it's. I don't know that it's in the uh, player's guide. The UIP. Yeah, it'll it'll be in the. Uh, yeah, I'm opening the. I'm in the open, core book. The, yeah, the core book, and just start, just so that I've got it with me, because that would help. One one never knows. What um, uh, what's a good plan here? Like, should we uh? Wait till they try to drive this thing out of the graveyard. It looks like they're trying to do something, or get them before they do something. Uh, well, strength. how many how many men are around, or is it like a big enough shuffle that it's hard to tell? Um, it is a little difficult to tell um, right now. Um, it looks as though. Uh, it looks as though you've got something like a something like a dozen of them at least. Um, okay. Yeah, something 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 like a, a dozen to uh, yeah. Actually, no, no. Um, yeah, somewhere somewhere between a dozen and like um, it's probably you'd say like maybe like sixteen, seventeen. Okay, so more than we probably want to directly engage. <laughs> yep. Yep. So to me, does it look like there's only one person that's a radio operator? Uh, yeah, yeah. As okay. far as you can tell, um, we just got the. You've just got one guy. It's there. The, who's set up in? It's not a. You know, there's like a. Uh, looks like they marched up. It looks like he's using just sort of basically a little sort of portable kit. Mm-hmm. Um. So I'll turn to Murphy and say. That one looks like the leader, as I said. That person looks like the only person that can call for backup. So, those should be our primary targets. Agreed. Draw a few off first, and then go for the main, the main head on the snake, the Hydra, as you say. <laughs> so I will let you know that yeah, the scope will will when you aim, um, in the normal course of aiming, um. You can uh, you can knock off. It says you can ignore up to four points of range cover call shot or add plus two to your roll. That's basically it depends on what you're doing. Uh, the scope will knock off another two, uh, okay. basically. Hmm. And uh, I guess point of question there, Warmaster, as far as I, I wanted to have uh, three or four satchel bombs. That'd be kind of my explosives. Uh, I don't know. Just and then, are they You're can determined. they be remotely de be remotely detonated, or do they need to be uh, like timer fused? Or what, what do you want to do there dramatically? Let me check the uh, satchel charges here. Yeah, it is prefused. Okay. In a, in a, in a charge of TNT in a bag with a with a carrying strap, it can be used against vehicles or fortifications and thrown like a grenade. 
Satchel charges come in two sizes. Small charges weigh two pounds, and large charges weigh 15. I'm going to assume if you got three of the damn things, you've got the two-pound ones. Mm -hmm. um, they, they would not drop you out of a plane. <laughs> 50 pounds of explosives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Nitroglycerin, it's fine. Here, let's about. test these. They wouldn't, they wouldn't, not they wouldn't let you on the plane with that no. much, that's for sure. No. Sure. Part of the the uh, the first test pro project where they just fully like you know made us made a grunt uh, <laughs> a yeah. living bomb. It's not, <laughs> it's not a this. good idea. It's not a good idea. So yeah, you've got the small satchel charge. It does forty six okay. when it uh, when it hits. <laughs> okay. So I, I would like to see if there is uh, somewhere there is a vehicle that I could attach a bomb to. to uh, they do not have any vehicles up here. It's no uh, it's actually yeah no. it's pro the, the 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 landscape right here prohibits uh, vehicles from getting up here. Okay. Oh, I see. So maybe why of, maybe part of the reason why the town abandoned this graveyard. <laughs> right. How far from the actual town is the graveyard? Can we see it the town is, from where we are? Uh, you probably would be able to from the other side of the graveyard. Hmm. Kind of got to go over the hill and then down. The graveyard's on the hill. Mm -hmm. Well, what y'all think of this? Uh, I, uh, maybe me and someone else, we could go around the side, uh, set off a little bit of distraction, draw a few off, and then one or two aliens can go for the head on show. I think Blevins has got it. That's good. All right. I'm right for once. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to um, say, well, whoever wants to come with me is welcome to. I think I might just sneak over there and throw a few rocks or something. So I'm well, gonna I was start... thinking about throwing a real big rock there, Blevins. I got all these little rocks. Well, and they don't do anything special. A big rock will, uh, will uh, drown out my shot. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Is uh, I'll bring one of these kabooms and I'll put it over there by uh, by a tombstone or something like that. So it just sends the rock flying everywhere and All get right. some to come. Some come see us and then we'll touch it off. All right. If you want to go ahead and do that, I'll cover you. Okay. So who is uh, who? All is moving closer. You got, you got a problem there, Corporal Fairbanks? You're shaking your head over there. <laughs> you know, I, I, I signed on to the military. I didn't think my first operation in foreign soil was going to be desecrating a graveyard. Oh, no, it'll be, like, right outside the graveyard gates. Right next to it. Like, I, I know. Yeah. I... Okay. We won't, yeah. You got to aim high. You we know? won't desecrate the corpses. We'll just wake them up a little bit. Oh, I went to university in Massachusetts. Please don't use that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of the history University. there. I went to Miskatonic. Go squids. <laughs> oh, you even got you even got the college shirt on right now. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Go pods. Um, <laughs> Slurp. Okay, so. so, so uh, who all is moving in, in, in that direction, just so I'll know? I think I'm following Corporal Buccino and uh, keeping a lookout while he sets up a bomb. All right, so... I need the uh, two of you to make stealth rolls, first of all. That's... I did it twice. Oh, no! Okay, hang on. I did it twice, too. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take your first one, um, which means that Blevins basically is, uh, is you've got a raise, so... Um, shadow. Yeah, Blevins very much a shadow. Um, and, uh, but uh, Bacino, you know, you're, 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 doing, you're being decently quiet. Um, Bacino might actually be whispering a little bit to himself a little bit too loud. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, sorry, we, we got this, Dad. We got this. You guys, don't worry yeah. about it. No problem. I got it. Just like you thought. Um, just like you thought. Yeah. And uh, I think you get almost halfway. Yes, you're not even halfway there. Um, I think. Uh, l let me uh, let me ask again. Uh, Tanad, are you still looking through your uh, your binoculars? 
Um, at this point, actually, I think uh, when I see them heading over that way, mm-hmm. I um, fasten my, my scope to my rifle, and then I just track them through the scope. So what? So you're, you're uh, looking through range, Yeah, narrower range, but probably can see a little further. Okay. So, same here, but I'm trained on the uh, radio operator. All right, excellent. So, Murphy, you're pointed at the radio operator. Tanad, you're uh, pointed at whom? I'm um, a couple feet in front of whoever is in front between Blevins and Pacino. So if uh, anyone comes up, I can just okay. So you're you're them. you're sneaking up along. Oh, no, I'm staying exactly where I'm staying am. where you are. But you're okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm you're just them. you're just looking at anyone who's in front of the. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. And uh, Fairbanks, what are you doing right now? Considering I've just been warned that um, they're going to detonate something. Uh, I'm looking for the hardiest cover nearby mm-hmm. and digging in. There are many trees and many rocks right now where you where you are at the present. Yeah, no, I'm 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 holstering the pistol, grabbing my entrenching tool, uh, and just getting behind the thing that looks the most solid. <laughs> All right. So whilst you are doing that, you do that. Pacino and Blevins are getting a little closer. They're not not quite halfway there yet. And as most of the uh, most of the Germans are sort of gathered around the middle here. Um, so well, well, I, I say most. It's basically the big wig and then a few of the others, and the rest are sort of scattered throughout. Um, I think at it's more or less at this point that um, you start to hear. Uh, you start to hear screaming um, uh, coming from from the uh, from the troops that are up there. Well, we um, haven't started yet. <laughs> yeah, there's a, <laughs> there's a certain amount of screaming going on, and uh, there, there's a bit of shooting happening now. Oh, uh, no uh, distraction required. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guess not. Should we go back in, or uh, sneak back to the others, or di- or did we all move at once? I think it was just the two of you that uh, started heading that way. Right, right. That's what I thought. Wasn't there supposed to be a boom? <laughs> they stopped no. moving. I don't know why they stopped moving. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Blevins and Machino stopped moving for some reason. No, but uh, you know, everyone, even back here, you kind of hear this. Ah, 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 oh my god! And there's a lot of scrambling going around. Um, from you know, everyone can see that the the people in the graveyard are now scrambling around a lot. Boss scrambling. <laughs> do we have any, um, like among our team, do we have any, like, long range arm signals, like for airplanes and stuff? Like, you know, flashlight. They have the... A little flashlight. Yeah. Flashlight? Yeah. 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 You'll have, yeah, you probably, if you have, uh, if you have, like, flashlights or anything, you can, you know, pull it out and okay. use that to signal. All right. Um, I mean, I'll, I can, I'll morse out a question mark. <laughs> yeah. So you, uh, you raise your uh, your your uh, army issue flashlight and uh, and click out the symbol for huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, does does the radio operator that I was staring at like is he s- scrambling now as well or um, he is yeah he is standing up these he's uh, basically the radio is uh, he's dropped the radio um, and he's scrambling to try to get behind something. Okay. Uh, oh, go ahead. In that case, I'm gonna kind of like swing around to see if I can figure out what's going on. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. So, swing around. Uh. You see that it looks like uh, some men are kind of like sort of sort of running around shooting, and you, you know, look. You just swing around, sort of past where you think the uh, the big wig is. Um. And you see, you think that he's writhing around on the ground. Um, and then you see what looks like something, uh, just kind of rises up, kind of into the air above him, something draped with... Floats? It's hard to say, 
Uh, it's it's hard to say, Murphy, exactly what it is that you're looking at, but it's it's like a person is like who's like wearing a poncho or something is like has uh, very very and this is happening very rapidly, and then rather like film being sped up is like immediately then dashes forward and is on to somebody else, and there's a lot of tumbling and screaming and more shooting going on. Um, Murphy, I would like you to make for me, this is uh, what we call a fear check. Yeah. Um, I need you to make sense. a spirit roll, please. Okie dokie. Spirit. So it's only him who sees this through a scope. Yes, that's Rope correct. It, it did. Oh, good. <laughs> I fail oh. spectacularly. So, uh, do you, you want, want to, uh, do you want to spend a Benny on that? Up to you. Uh, Benny. Probably. I probably want to spend a penny on that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Should I move it anywhere specific or just off of my card? Uh, just off the grid. Okay. And then that earns me a re-roll. Correct? Yep. Okay. So it's nighttime during this, correct? It is nighttime. Okay. Hey, oh, you're fine. That's a little better. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Double sixes. Oh, it's just, you know. Iron just will. Some Couple floating thing. It's all right. The best part is I took mild mannered, so, like, the opposite of what I expected. It's ah, there's fine. a big owl. <laughs> You've seen this movie before. It's, it's a remarkably well dressed <laughs> owl. Um. Superb. Yeah, so, yeah, that, so that's a first. They're, so Pope they're fighting hears... something, as far as you can tell. They're they're fighting something. Uh, you can also actually you're able to hold steady enough to see that yeah that box is open now. Yeah. So Pope just hears what in the hell? <laughs> well, if if I um... and Uriel, you're here too. Fair, yeah. Fairbanks just like hearing that, then seeing like the flash in the distance for huh, and being confused that. <laughs> There's all the screaming, and there is no boom. There was, <laughs> there was declaratively a boom involved in this, <laughs> but there is no boom. Just quickly grabs a flashlight and just like signals back. We don't know either. <laughs> all right, Corporal, you think we we should maybe uh, regroup and see what to do next? Uh yeah, I don't know. It, was, it sounds like something's happening up ahead. Maybe I, I... Uh, I want to get a little closer. Get a look. I like look at my binos. Can I see any better from where I'm at? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, make a notice roll for me, please. All right. So... Yeah. Um, so yeah, you you uh, <laughs> you're die. yeah you got a five. So yeah, you're looking around. Um, yeah, um, a lot of running and screaming and shooting at something that is. Um, that's moving very fast. Um, you see that um, you're, you're not clear on what it is. It's now actually hard to see because of the uh, because of how far into the into the darkness it's gotten um, at this point. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, they're only like uh, what you're seeing now is that they're only like uh, so. There was some running, and screaming. It seems to be uh, like a couple. You know, there's some someone shooting at something and then gets like knocked over um, and you see them getting dragged into the into the uh, into the woods uh, kind of like that ah! sort of shot um, and uh, <clears throat> yeah they're, they're now these soldiers who are looking around and they're only like um, they're only like like three or four of them left oh um <laughs> Weren't there like seventeen before? Yeah, there were uh -huh. like seventeen. <laughs> seventeen to four in a few in, seconds. In seconds is not that's not good. No. I All clutch right. my explosive tight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna uh hey, I think I'm gonna start walking back. Um, I'm gonna keep my gun out in case any of the, the scared soldiers and civilians try to run our way. This I, I, I think I, I would just, uh, we should maybe just stay put right now there, Private, and just see what's going on. 
You start moving around, you're going to draw this thing's attention. All right. Okay. I'll take my flashlight and more we stay. I quit doing that too. Stop doing that. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Dad, I tell you, these these new newbies, they're greenhorns. They're dangerous. Dad, I'm just come on. Trying to, I'm just trying to communicate. Oh, uh, you're right. trying to communicate with whatever's out there, too, if you're not careful. Yeah, that reminds me. I well, need that, to make a notice roll for something. What, oh. that, that big giant owl thing out there? Nah. <laughs> that ain't no owl. My dad oh, told me stories. What is, what is it, a hawk? It's two owls. Yeah, it's In two a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. Did you say we something about your dad, Pacino? What did you say after that, uh, Corporal Pacino? Oh, it just uh, Dad's just telling me right now that uh, he's seen some stuff out here. You never know. Graveyards are bad places, right, Dad? Right. What? Your dad's around? Yeah. Where? Where's your dad? <laughs> is he back in the group? What? Who, what? What do you mean your dad is telling you? Is he? Is he one of the guys back in the group? Oh, on uh, the team? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Don't worry about it, Private. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Not Dad. I got to quit talking out loud. People are not gonna. We're just not gonna know what's going on. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, your well whatever floats your canoe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm about ready to huck this uh, satchel bomb right in that box over there. I'll tell you that. Do it. <laughs> I'm gonna look behind us just to make sure there's no one sneaking up. Um, you look and you. Uh, go ahead and make a notice roll for me, please. Okay. Um, yeah, you, you're you know you're checking and uh, you you see for a moment it looks like one of the uh, one of the soldiers is just and, and you know you just check and it's not that the someone is sneaking up on you. It's more that there's a soldier running kind of in your direction, um, not at you because they don't know you're there. He doesn't know you're there, but he's just like. <laughs> okay. Hold on, panic. Well, since I'm I'll watching out for that out. exact such, same thing, could I? Do I notice it as well? Since this is specifically what I was looking for, oh. is anyone coming towards them? Yeah, yeah. There is someone coming towards them. He's got his gun. All right. Well, I'm gonna just take the shot then. Okay. Go ahead. Please make a shooting roll for me, please. Uh, it begins. I, how, how far am I from my uh, from this whole thing? What minuses do I got? Um, at this point, uh, you've gotten close enough. Well, you've, you've, you, okay, since you're taking, uh, you're taking aim, um, yeah. uh, you, uh, honestly, and you, and you've got the scope, uh, yeah. you're not going to be at any minuses right so it's now. Ju just normal? Do I have the plus two or is it just flat? It's, uh, it's going to be just flat at this distance, okay. I think. Okay, One. yeah. Uh, go ahead and, uh, and, uh, roll your damage for that weapon if you have it, uh, entered. What's your, uh. It's 2d8. 2d8? Okay. That's five. Um, yeah. Um, you basically, so yeah, you, you come, you're like, and it's like, <laughs> you uh, you hit him. <laughs> well, hot damn. <clears throat> he doesn't look too good. <laughs> hey, maybe now's a good time to, to throw your boomstick. Boom pack, whatever it is. <laughs> how, how close are we to the box? Um, well, you are outside the graveyard by about, you're sort of, sort of on the, uh, shall we say the east side of it, okay. um, by a, still you'd be like about a hundred feet, um, at this point. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to try to like, uh, belly crawl up there. You keep an eye, keep me covered. All right. Okay. All right. Get down, start crawling. I'm gonna go back and forth between uh, Corporal and the the guy who just got shot. Yeah, the guy who just got shot is kind of down. He's trying to uh, he's trying to get his gun up uh, to, to to shoot. Okay, go ahead and make a shooting roll for me, please. <laughs> All right. So is it just just two d six or agility plus two d six? Um, it is your um, your shooting skill. Uh, okay. So it should be by uh, uh, over. Uh, so it's gonna be. That die, and it will be a 2d6, but if you've got it entered into the sheet, it should automatically do it through uh, macro if you hit the shooting button. Yep, you're good. Um, so you hit. Go ahead, please, and roll your damage for that. 
Oh yes, that's Ooh. incredibly oh. dead. Um, wow, that can't be right. That's exploding There's... right there. Yeah, no, you got. Yeah, that so looks. So it's fun. a D8 and a D. It's uh, well, let's see, it's a D8 and a D6. Ah, let me take a look real quick. Oh, it's, it, I my it's agility, your agility modifier die. was yeah yeah sorry. Your agility die of a D8, right? Yeah, but I take that off. Yeah, the damage uh, should be. Let me let me look in your weapons here. Okay, I just changed it. Carbine. Okay, yeah, yeah, it should have been two D six for for okay. that. So yeah, I think it was trying. It was adding your. Uh, it was adding your. Uh, okay, your try it again. Yeah. That's How's that? that? It's like that was so much damage. Okay, that's not <laughs> bad. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, you hit this guy. You get him in the head, and he's like, <laughs> he's down. All right. Now follow corporal. I say to Murphy, at least they're teaching them to double tap now. <laughs> yeah. So during all of this, I probably would have um, dropped behind the tree that I was taking cover behind mm -hmm. and just like sit up against it with my back against it, just processing what the hell I just saw. Um, and then uh, the shot from uh, from Uriel, like right next to me, probably would have snapped me out of it. Um, and I'd be just right back to looking um and then he makes his comment and i kind of gather what's going on and have, look over there and presumably see them and the body and the corporal crawling away and i'm like oh no <laughs> yeah 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 you're sort of looking over now and it's like you don't, you don't see anyone now in the graveyard anymore no one's standing up run, or at least um Can I, if I scan, can I see the thing anymore? You don't see it. We, uh, I think we need to regroup. Wonder what Corporal's doing. How, uh, how close am I now to the middle? Um, you have gotten by now, uh, basically, just up to the edge here. See, there's edge actually there's a there's a well in the middle. There's sort of this uh, stone, very small stone well in the middle of the graveyard, and you see this sort of black box lying uh, next to it. It's sort of a it's a big kind of um, hexagonal box, but it would still you know fit inside the well. Um, it's it's a little smaller than the well itself, and you see sort of like some machinery set up nearby. Um, for it looks like for extracting something from the well, most likely that box. Um, and there are a bunch of dead bodies. Oh, good. <laughs> and, and no, I don't see any other movement at all? Nope. Okay. It is, at this point, as, uh, as quiet as one of these places is generally thought to be. <laughs> <laughs> except, except in the Weird Wars world. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I, yeah, I look, I look, I look back. Can I see uh, Private Blevins? I'm kind of kneeling yeah. in the grass with the gun. It's, just, it's dark, right? It's nighttime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can see, you can see him. You know where he is. He just I'm also he just shot, yeah he just shot someone. So you know, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, all right, I'll go ahead and try to creep up closer to the well. All right. Creeping forward. Creeping forward. I'm going to sort of switch to what Uriel was doing with them as they were sneaking up. I'm kind of focused on uh, Corporal. Okay. Um, just like making sure nothing is going to, is around him that is dangerous to him. I'm keeping my, my gun in Blevins' area to make sure nothing comes towards him. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're all watching very carefully. Fairbanks, you doing anything else right now? Right now, considering that like everything's quiet, after all the screaming, there was no boom. I haven't gotten any flashes back from Blevins. Like, Murphy's talking to himself. Tanad's just oh. being Tanad. Um, I am just... I have the entrenching tool out. I'm just quietly actually starting to dig 
<laughs> just in case. Let's get these graves ready. Just, just... <laughs> the trench could be a grave. <laughs> Machino, could you make a uh, notice roll for me, please? Okay. Just skin my teeth with these rolls, I tell you. You are up to the well. Mm. And. Mostly, you have you know you have dead dead soldiers here. Now, I, can I see blatantly how they died, or is it a little more subtle, like throats ripped out, or this is uh, this would appear to be a throat throat being ripped out situation. Okay. Um, Typical Lugosi. Throats ripped out. Um, are you, well, it, it, you know, it's, it, that's that's the immediate thing. You you probably there's more blood, so it's there's right, right, right. something else. But you know, it depends on if you're what you want to pay attention to right now in the uh, midst no, of I'm kind of all this. Yeah, just anything that's yeah, getting closer to the box. Getting over to the box. Um, so yeah, uh, it looks like the lid of the box is lying um, much further away, closer to closer to this tomb. Um, and um, it looks like you see that um, just beyond the box is what appears to be a dead officer. Um, and this was probably our person that was doing the hand waving. Yes, yes. And uh, yeah, you see that uh, there's something like. There are a few, you know, items, paraphernalia and stuff around. Um, possibly, um, just a, 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 kind of a couple of weird little objects that this guy was. When I've chewed through my old and cigarette, now I have to replace with a new cigarette. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there's like, you know, among the, you know, there, there, there's like a, you know, something that got. There's sort of something glistening up here that got thrown, possibly. It's hard to know what it is. But man. Sort of. Listen. Yeah. And Some, again, something we lying got, on, the, we from, on the ground. HQ gave us no bigger than a bread box, smaller than a bread box. It was just this <laughs> thing. They don't know what it is. They right. they want you to find out what it is and if right, possible, right, right, right. you know, not let them have it. Like I look at the box and I look at the shiny thing and like, it's got to be the shiny thing. You always the shiny thing. And I, uh, what's the longest fuse I could have on my satchel? Like two um, minutes, three minutes? I mean, I, I would, I would guess that you can, you know, it just depends on, you know, how. Right, right, right. All right, you want to eat it, but, um, it, uh, yeah, I'd say you could, you could probably light like a, uh, you could probably do like a two minute fuse. Okay. Uh, and it, would it, again, I'm trying to think, is it one that I would light or just do the, the, the electric turn, like have a wire? Uh, if it's a satchel charge, yeah, um, it's probably, it's probably more the, okay, the thing. Right. You, right. Yeah. I'll, uh, careful as possible, set my satchel charge in the box. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, scoot over to the shiny thing. All right. Yeah. And, and, and spooling wire while I'm doing it. Like spooling yeah. wire up. Yeah, it looks like a uh, kind of a... This round metal thing in... The, like a round metal disc. Okay. Um, have you stood up at this point, or are you still, like, crawling on? Yeah, it's all still trying to low profile as much as possible. Okay. Agreed. <laughs> That's two agrees. <laughs> We're in agreement. And uh, so I'm sorry. Yeah. What, did, what did Look, I, I guess my goal until something tries to eat me is uh, I will go ahead and pick up the silver disc and then scoot back, crawl, spool and out wire back towards Blevins. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're, you're there. The lid of the box is back here too. Um, okay. 
not uh, not. I mean, it's not like right next to it, but you can kind of like. So it's like if you were over sort of near near one of the northeast tombs and then sort of a northwest sort of this area is kind of more where the lid of the box fell. Okay. Um, Quick glance at the lid of the box. Make a notice roll, please. Okay. So much noticing. All right. <laughs> it's like fours and fives. Um, yeah, as, as far as you can tell, it, uh, it, it, so um, quick guess is that it got thrown there rather rather harshly. Uh-huh. Um, and just from what you've seen of trajectory, you know a little bit about trajectories and what have you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> that uh, it seems as though there, there would have been some kind of small explosive eruption of some kind near the well. And if you, uh, you know... You, th you would think the lid got thrown that way and this shiny thing got thrown this way, but they all probably would have been at the box. Mm -hmm. Well, the lid obviously was, so... But it's... Yeah, the, the, the shiny thing that you now have is... was probably in the same... location, uh, if, if not, like, on top of the box, maybe. And just a quick look at the, the shiny thing. Anything... I'm not... Uh... I got. I said barely got English, so uh, it's got a weird triangular symbol on it. Perfect, great. I'll go find the. I'm gonna find the medic. <laughs> okay. Um, Ivy League. Yeah, you make your way out. Yeah. And I. So I'll. Uh, I'll hand off the metal disc to Blevins. Like you go recoup. Uh, regroup. I don't know what word I just tried to use there. You try to go regroup, and. Uh, I'll just stand by right here. If anything comes near that box, I'm blowing the whole thing up. Okie dokie. Yeah. You, from where you were, you didn't see... There There didn't appear to be... Is you, you were able to see, by the way, and I realize I didn't mention this specifically, but you were close enough to the box, you would have seen that there... You didn't see that there was anything in it. Okay. Um, it looked like there was nothing in the box from where you were. I'm going to scoot back on over to the group. Is there a potential to shoot a satchel charge and have it explode? Like, could a sniper take it out? Uh, I don't see why not. Okay, okay. So I will, uh, I'll uh, maybe retcon this a little bit. Just say, like, I put it on the edge so that the sniper could see it. And yeah. I'm, I'm not going to worry about keeping a switch on it. Sure. It's you not, just, like, set it on top of the well or something? Yeah, it's uh, like, yeah. whatever happened here, we've missed it. So yeah. we'll go back and recuperate. recuperate. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, Blevins, you're handed this disc. Shiny. It is shiny. It's got a nice sort of weird weird triangular symbol on it. My dad once told me about the Illuminati. I don't see any eyes in this triangle. No, 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 uh, no eyes as far as you can tell. It's, um... The Illuminazis? <laughs> Sorry. Well played. Considers removing Benny's. Briefly stops. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trotting back on over there to uh, share Corporal's discovery. All right. Um, uh, I will say to, to Blevins, did the Corporal give you a satchel charge? You should not run uphill with a satchel charge. Oh, no, it's some kind of fancy mail disc. The satchel charge is out there by the whale, I think. Oh, all right. Confirm. Check uh, this out. I was about to go look at the well with my scope, but then I'm like, all right, I take the disc and I look at it. Um, is it... All right, I got things that can apply here. Is it in a different language? Is it cryptography or is it a cult? Because I can roll all of those. Um, in this case, I would recommend a cult of all those. Yeah. That's the worst of them. Hey, thank you very much for the for the bits. I yes. appreciate it. Ah, oh, yay. M8. Okay, you got a raise. So, yeah. Um, interesting. Yeah, so... 
this, uh, so you've kind of seen a few different, um, thing symbols like this before, um, in, uh, typically in, um, sort of the medieval Jewish tradition and in, uh, Islam, some in Western occultism, um, and, um, it's this this looks like this was is one of one of the you you've seen this looks close to one of the depictions that different people have for like the 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 seal of solomon sure yep um is uh now when i say the seal of solomon i don't mean there's like a whole a single holy grail object that mm -hmm. uh is, is you know it would have been maybe like a signet ring or something like that originally but this is like um just the symbol has been drawn and minted on this disc. And it looks, the disc itself looks pretty old. Okay. Um, it, uh, I mean, you know, obviously, can't quite judge how old exactly, but, you know, um, not so, you know, it's, you know, the engraving is decent, um, but was probably not done recently. Yeah. So, with my E, would I consider this something like a ward? Something protective? Or does it seem like, um, something meant to be destructive uh this is supposed to be more this this is more along the warding lines okay. of things this is yeah i'll hold on to it then. this looks like a yeah very much like a a a, a you know yeah keep something in keep something out type deal mm -hmm. yep it's not getting back to blevins i'm just gonna keep holding it okay Hey, everyone else, come look. <laughs> I will show any everyone, but I will not hand it to anyone because I am curious and suspicious. So I'm gonna. No one else gets to hold it. Situation's freaking foo bar. All right, if you really want it, you can take it, but you owe me a shiny thing, like a nice rock, piece of quartz. That's an affirmative, Fairbanks. <laughs> How how big is it exactly? Is it hand size or is it like two hands? Okay, about like that. All right. Let me get a look at the. the we came all the way out for this. Maybe this is what it is. Seriously, like, like taking getting a good look. I'd like to roll a cult. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, no, again, as, as far as you can tell, um, this looks like, um, it's, it's something, you know, that's, that's used in a number of different traditions, Kabbalistic and, uh, others. Um, folks would practice theurgy of some kind, church magic, um, as, uh, as, as they might refer to it. Um, <clears throat> I would like to spend a penny for a narrative declaration. Oh, really? <laughs> Tell us, what would you like to spend a penny to, to, to declare? Uh, just uh, our, our penis. Oh, fuck. Great, great. Somebody disturbed something that had a ward on it. Great fucking shit. Fuck damn, damn intelligence. <laughs> fucking shit. This is the, this is the fucking graveyard fucking thing from when I was in college all over the fuck over again. And we don't even have access to a damn library. Yeah, I'm no longer looking down my scope. I'm like staring at Fairbanks, going, "What?" Okay, like th there's normal like pranks and shit that you do in college. I went to a place where those sort of pranks got out of hand, and one night, all of a sudden, you know, dead rose from the grave, and it was a big deal. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, it involved something around that symbol that was disturbed. Great fucking shit! <laughs> Just, I put, I yeah. put my hand on the airbank and said, don't worry, it happens to all of us. And I put the, the ward away. I, I, I reach into my jacket and pull out my flask and, like, set down my rifle. And... <laughs> Sounds like you had a fun time in college. Pretty creative pranks, huh? Don't go to Arkham, ever. All right. 
I mean, I'd have to go to, to second grade first. I skipped all that, but my sister got it. Okay, so did anyone else see that thing? Okay, what thing? What Can I get a description of thing? The bear thing. I killed all those people. That, that was not a bear. What else could it have been? Okay, so I'd say this sounds crazy, but given the circumstances, it probably makes sense. Uh, it looked like there was some sort of like hell i'm just gonna call it a ghost i don't <laughs> oh yeah all right yeah okay ghost it's a big bl- i think it was a big black figure right um well it was it was hard was to it... i mean it's dark out so yeah Yeah, it was but... hard to tell it was it was like wearing maybe like a thing that was like a poncho maybe uh, as far okay. as you could tell is sort of the uh but it but it was floating um it was well it didn't stay in the air long enough to be I would say uh, so. When 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 I say floating in this case, I don't necessarily mean that you, that um, you're you're talking about you know the Mary Martin flying trick per se. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is more the um, the physics of it would suggest that it uh, that it, it it propelled itself upward through means that is not normal, <laughs> and it, then leapt forward. But it happened very quickly. Okay. Uh, there was something, definitely not human, definitely not an animal. Um, yeah, it, it did just... have hair. You saw that it had hair coming from you know. Okay, so maybe a person, but not a normal person. That is for damn sure. Mm. Okay, okay, so I don't. Whatever have... you say, yeah, you got me spooked, real uh, spooked. <laughs> I don't have access to a library. I can't consult with the Necronomicon. Um... The what? Fairbanks, you do know there's a village over there. They might have a library. Mm, they don't have. They don't have Miskatonic's library. Um, you know, you you never know until you see them, right? They could have some books. Do you want to risk running into a bunch of Jerry's in the middle of the night while whatever this is 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 going around feasting upon the flesh, mind, body, soul, or of whatever? <laughs> Not even a little bit. I mean, we can bring it towards them, and then we can just... Are we trying to commit, like, crimes against... Mm, uh, where the fuck is the corporal? <laughs> Back there. And that, and that I kind of pop up. <laughs> Alright, uh, so whatever happened here, we missed it. We're God. probably loud enough at this point. Where the yeah. fuck's the corporal? President. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's enough! I think we missed it. I think it's over. What has ever happened to you? Where's the disc? Uh, I oh, it's we'll say disc. I have it. Don't worry. I got it. Right. Why don't you radio to back to HQ if that's what we can do and let them know we got the thing. We'll assume this is the thing and let's get the fuck out of here. I like this plan. I'm a fan of this plan. Why would HQ want this? Just a big hunk of silver? That's a beautiful doorstop. Just follow orders, Private. Just follow orders. All right. So how do we get to this farmhouse? So at this point, um, you hear someone coming. Uh, you know, you're all sort of trained as like someone coming through the underbrush, kind of like uh, uh, on the opposite side of the graveyard. Uh, up the hill, from yeah. the other side. Of, okay. Yeah, from the other side. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll sweep up my my gun, and I'll same think of Murphy and be like. Uh, I guess I'll do a notice roll, see if we can, I can see. Um, yeah, this isn't going to be too hard. Um, okay. so, yeah, you see basically it's this, uh, this, this older man. Um, <clears throat> he's, uh, he's, he's bleeding profusely. He's sort of staggering. It's like he's, he's got a gash. Um, he's where he, you know, he looks like he's a, um, It's just sort of, sort of. He looks like he's a local, um, and he's sort of staggering forward, and um, so he's like he's trying to like he's just trying to he's trying to run from something. He gets this guy in that box. You shoot that satchel, Murphy. 
Is this guy in uniform or is he no. a local? Okay. No, he's 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 uh, dressed like a civilian. I guess I'll look. I'll move my scope and a little bit up. See if I can see behind him. Which I'm uh, I assume that because he came up a hill, right? Yeah, you don't see anything immediately behind him. Again, you can't see the village from here because you need to be mm -hmm. sort of where he is to see it. Yeah. Um, but uh, you presume he's coming from the direction of the village. Um, and he's like staggering sort of across the graveyard now. He's like just basically he's just trying he, he's just trying to get somewhere. <laughs> where? Who knows? <laughs> What is it? What did y'all see? Dinner. He's watching dinner right now. What? It looks like hey, a... you ever bear baited before? You ever baited a bear in Blevins? That's what we're gonna see happen right here. <laughs> see him I sure of... have, and him stabbed a bear through the neck. <laughs> see him kind of. He just sort of glances back, and he looks, and he, he sort of looks at the well, and he's like, and he continues trying to run, and he kind of collapses at the edge of the graveyard here. Shall we help him? He, you, you said he looked like at the box and like reacted to it. A little bit, yeah. Well, he, well, the well anyway, and the, oh, okay. the stuff around it. Okay. The box was on the other side of the well, so he probably couldn't see that very well. Gotcha. Um, does it seem like he would have seen the bodies, or he's he just sees the well and reacts to the well? Um, you, you think he is? saw the bodies? You don't think he was terribly surprised by the bodies? Okay. If he looks like a civvy and he's dropped nearby and I see him, I'm going to have to go up there and, and start treating. He seems mm -hmm. to know something. I, that, that's already on yeah. the way. So you won't cover. Yeah. Got the, I'm wearing my helmet and I've got the big red cross on it. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll kind of duck waddle after him with my gun. I'll walk normally. <laughs> one there, uh, one does not shoot the medic. Open the field pack and start treating the guy. Like, what wounds am I looking at here? Okay. So you come forward and you see this uh, that he's got this uh, as as you find it sort of like help me. He's like, <sighs> and you see this gash um, again going from looks like narrowly missed his neck, but it's down his chest, um, and uh, so he's a little messed up. Um, because it's a kind of a deep gash. Um, and uh, uh, he begins to speak. Does uh, Do you... Who, who is near him? I went with the Fairbanks. And ah, I speak okay. French, yes. If yes. That you speak French. That's good, because that's what he's saying. He's I, I also would have run up with Fairbanks and just, like, planted myself behind, a gr like, the nearest gravestone to them and trained my rifle uh, towards where he ran from. He's a, and he basically is saying... Oh God, oh God! Those Nazi bastards—they let—they let her out. She's going to kill us all. And I think that's where we're going to take a break. Um, that's fair. And uh, so we will be back in uh, just a few minutes. Dun, dun, Sit tight. Dun. We'll see you shortly. Hello, welcome to the break. I am here with Greg to talk about various things that he has been doing. And the various places. Uh, welcome, welcome once more to the break. <laughs> I, I'm back again. I I love. It's just hello, hello. <laughs> it's, it's it's fantastic. Yes, they they haven't uh, they haven't uh, they they haven't started speeding up with their light cycles yet. So I think we're good. We we've got a few minutes. Um, anyway, at least I can't see them doing that down there. Anyway, yeah. uh, no. Uh, so we've we've talked previously. Uh, about stuff you've got going on on your channel, but I also wanted to uh, take a few minutes and talk about things that you've been doing on other channels because uh, any anytime I see you basically playing games in other places, it is always hysterically entertaining. It is wonderful. And uh, so I, uh, I, I just wanted to see what you've got going on now. Um, you, uh, you have a, a game of Simbarum going on somewhere, yes? That's correct, yes. On Tuesday nights at 7.30 Eastern time over on WebDM's uh, Twitch channel, we are playing a little Simba Room, which is a dark, low fantasy, uh, magic is bad can kill you type of system where the it, it has a lot of, to be quite honest, a lot of Witcher elements to it where the creatures that are wandering in the, the, the dark forest of Davakar are twisted and 
unlike things that maybe we've come across in, in other traditional fantasy systems, um, it, it lends itself for a level of, I don't know, unease, I think. Uh, the system itself is very easy to play. It's, it's essentially an opposite system. You want to low roll or low roll. You want to roll low and uh, you want to be able to hit those lower marks to be able to, you know, crit and do things like that. But again, once we've spoken before, I like the narrative more than anything else. And Simba Room lends itself by the ability to make your characters carry burdens that also allow them to have boons and can really give you a lot of meat to kind of work with with a character and i like it quite a bit the the character generation is very fun again fantastic players i get to play with emma kiana billy's over there dm'd by pruitt just fantastic stuff awesome great group very cool very cool um and i know it's, I, i've also i think i've seen you over on uh, on lindy's channel a few times laugh love lindy uh doing yeah, a few things i hate her no i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> I have to get those pictures back. No, um, <laughs> no, I, I, I've said it once and I'll say it again. Um, Lindy runs a channel that is very likely in the way that I appreciate things. It is absolutely one of the best ones on Twitch because she surround her, surrounds herself with her friends, her gaming group. It is very much like a tabletop around the couch, around the coffee table group that is absolutely excellent role players and they drop in and out of systems so effortlessly and these different characters it's a it's a sight to behold and i'm just incredibly pumped to be a part of uh producer trav travis's aliens game that's once a month on fridays it is inc i mean weaving in aliens and predator and blade runner and different elements of this making a, a combined world out of all of these absolutely fantastic and uh, when somebody is able to produce a world like that that's one thing when you're able to produce a world like that because you love it and you know it by heart you do, you're not flipping through books when somebody asks you about a bit of lore for your world you know it you know it because it's you you've created it it's part of your dna that's travis with that aliens game and um the absolute flip side of that is we play our Taosaurian games, uh, teenagers from outer space once every month on Saturday mornings. And um, Lord, it is a rated X Saturday morning cartoon with a fantastic GM in Kiana, who in all likelihood, we've, we've probably cost her quite a bit in just copays. Um, but uh, it, it is it's absolutely so much fun. It's Lindy, it's producer Trav, it's Emma, uh, and myself as we jump in and out of this uh, fantastically delicious, wacky story um, based on a very old, uh, you know, 90s driven RPG for Ar Artel Sorian. And um, they were so kind over at Artel Sorian to actually make our characters the downloadable uh, 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 pre-gens. So if you want to play the game and you go over to their website, we're the pre-gens you get to play. So, <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> it's, it really is. It's super dope. And they made these really cool sheets for us. And uh, they, we, I mean, I, don't know, I think it's been announced. I'm going to say it anyway. We're doing a live show at Gen Con. So uh, that'll be fun. And I can't wait yes. to, uh, <laughs> you know, do something like that. But it's a great, great system. It's a great, great GM great great game and a fantastic cast that i get to joke around with and again i'm blessed to be along for the ride with all of the shows i mentioned so it is awesome and uh, yeah folks i definitely go and check those out because um they I, I again unfortunately uh with stuff that i have going on i only catch snippets uh by and large but the snippets i catch are so freaking awesome <laughs> that i i definitely think uh that that folks need to go out and check these things out they are an absolute delight. Uh, also, if uh, folks are looking for you online, where should they go? Uh, easiest place to find me, my friend, is over on Twitter at uh, Grimjack21502. And just let's link up over there, talk about all things nerdy, and uh, I'll tell you where to find the good stuff over at Laugh Love Lindy and Salty Sweet Games and Counter Roleplay and all that tall squall and all my friends at the Scraticus Academy. 
and across the, the, the great world, of course, here on Jim's channel and everybody that uh, has created and creates in this lovely community needs to be supported as best we can because there's stories out there just on the horizon, um, you know, off the table, just, just great stuff. But uh, yeah, jump over there. And if you're new to the system, I will point you to the whichever star from the left and straight on to great stories. So I also highly recommend, recommend checking out Tales from the Grim as well as uh, this. Uh, this fellow has rather a lot of involvement with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit, but... yeah, take care, folks, uh, and uh, we'll see you later.
we have returned. And uh, we are now... Uh, we rejoin our uh, our heroes um, as they are at the uh, the edge of the graveyard still, and uh, they are treating a uh, an injured elderly Frenchman. Yeah, I'd actually like to make that medicine roll now. Yes, excellent. So um, you're uh, so the way that healing typically has worked, uh, and, and well until time immemorial. Are you using the healing skill? Yes, I'm using. Okay, um, so he is at. Uh, he is at minus two, so you're going to be at minus two f to to the roll for the for the patient. Okay, uh. so that will bring because I'm using my kit, they'll bring it to neutral. Gotcha. So input that, and hit the button. There we go. Excellent. Okay, cool. So that'll take off one wound. Um, and, uh, so the he'll at least, he'll be better, and he'll still need time to, you know, to, to heal up the rest of it, but now it won't take, like, forever. <laughs> and he's, he's gonna need, you know, he's gonna need rest for, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know, get, to get properly stitched up, but, uh, what you're able nice. to put together is good. Stable, he might be able to answer questions. <sighs> mm -hmm. And he's just sort of there panting as, as you know, he's start, starting to come around again. Merci. I, uh, merci. I say to him, uh, who is she? What What do you mean they let her out? Uh, American? I, I turned to Fairbanks and say, he picked up on my accent. I, <laughs> um, I say... We. Oh, the story. The story. The story. <laughs> Give us yes, the story. Yes, we are American. Uh, 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 no. The, 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 um, Madame Laurent. She was. She founded this uh, this city. Uh, in the, in the Middle Ages. Uh, was uh, held from her for a long time until the uh, the holy wars came through, and they uh, she held the city for a long time. Uh, but uh, she's they in her eventually when they took the city, she uh, they threw her in there. He says, pointing to the well. And, uh, and and cursed her. They say. Do you not think I would ever, s we, anyone would ever see her again? But it's her. He's well, got to be. She sounds pretty angry about people coming in. But it seems to me that you're from here. Why would she? Take her anger out on a one of her her sh her flock. Maybe that's why she didn't kill me. I don't know. She's she's uh, something else now. She's been twisted by her curse. She's she's, she's killing them right and left. I don't know what happened, but she. She went in and she took my inn. She went into the inn. It was one of her old sites. Okay, so I turn to Fairbanks. I explain. Um, sounds like the former, the founder of this town was uh, kicked out a while ago during the Holy Wars. Tossed down that there well. Uh, they cursed her. And she didn't take too kindly to that. Uh, so she went back to town now that uh, she took out these people. Hurt this gentleman, even though he's a villager. Maybe he just hates invaders. And he's at the hotel now, which he owns. Curse. Curse. Okay. 
Um, shit. <laughs> I mean, it also <laughs> translates as Bane. I'm not entirely sure. The, 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 the curse. The, the, okay. And head. I'm going to head over. I'm just. Everything's gone, Fubar. Fairbanks is just going to wander off to to the well. Uh, I, I think that he's like not ignoring the satchel charge like deliberately and just like peeking over the side of the well trying to get a look down going to use the flashlight okay what <laughs> <laughs> if anyone else mm -hmm. wants to say anything well that was a nice little tale but what really happened uh, I turn to Blevins I blink slowly and I say there must have been some sort of big bird caught in that box, and when they opened it, it it didn't take kindly to being disrupted. Why would why would they put a bird in a box? You know, birds fly into things all the time. Whatever you say. It is whatever I say, isn't it? <laughs> and I go, I go help the um the Frenchman up. Uh, yeah. Fair, Fairbanks are at the edge of the well. Um, there there appears to be a satchel charge sitting on it. Uh, but, we're, we're not going to even acknowledge its existence right now. Okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, looking down, there are a bunch of dead bodies around also, um, just so you folks are aware. Um, but, uh, you know, you look down the well, you flash, you flash light. It's, uh, it's basically, yeah, it's, it's got, um, it looks... Uh, like, you know, your average, your average well doesn't look like there's, uh, much, you know, water in there at all, if any. Um, but, you know, you have also nearby the, uh, the body of the officer. You have the, uh, two, 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 two the two parts of the box, um, that are near the well. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, that's mostly what you see around here. And, of course, the equipment that appears that they were using to lower, you can see that they were lower, they, they apparently, they, from the equipment that they had here, they pulled the box up out of the well and opened the box. Um, and it looks like, uh, but th that's that's what you see just you know standing here. Yeah, no, I it, it, seeing this just takes a moment, breathes in. Uh, I'm just seeing this the camera. You, we, we we pull back, we we see the well, we see the charge, and then we see like. Fairbanks take like three steps and then just start rage kicking the corpse of the, the Nazi officer. <laughs> Stupid son of a bitch. Fucking Nazi. Oh, oh shit. Oh uh, no, we lost the yeah. medic again. No, yeah, geez. it, it does look as though basically, um, as as though front with the, the these Nazi bodies. Now that you've got a nice good look while you're kicking him, um, you can see that yeah, throats torn out. Um, also looks like, um, possibly also hearts being extracted rather forcibly, uh, or livers or other organs. Um, but very quickly, uh, looks like. Okay, uh, in, in my fury, I'd like to make an occult check to, based upon, or a knowledge medicine check, uh, whichever you would prefer, to kind of go like, okay, so, cursed... Dry well, symbol of warding, Nazi occultism. What the fuck am I dealing with right now? <laughs> so, would you prefer occult or knowledge medicine? Well, which, um, this is an, an excellent question. Uh, I mean, I can give you more information based on whichever you choose, but it will, uh, you must choose one, um, depending on kind of. Uh, if you go occult, I'll tell you more probably about what's. What uh, this guy was trying to do, if you want, uh, if you want more about medicine, then uh, I, I, you might learn more about what uh, the thing was trying to do. I think I'm gonna go with medicine and go with what is the thing trying to do. Okay. Okay. So. Oh crap! There we go. All right. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, um, so, you suspect that this was done, 
kind of these people were recognized as invaders and were uh, basically being, you know, so that's, you know, the, tearing the throat out was about that. Um, pulling the organs looks like was more about um, kind of trying to uh, from what you understand about how some of these things might work, um, possibly she's trying to learn about them. And possibly can do so from consuming the organs. Fun! I wish I could do that. No, no, just, just, uh, just, like, stops kicking, just looks at the Nazi, looks at a couple of the other Nazis. And then just erupts. Fun! Fun! <laughs> just, just to, like, the world at large. Fun. Great. Okay. Mm. And it just kick like, full-on boot stomps. Someone go, someone go Nazi, get Nazi <laughs> officer's <laughs> head. There is also this something to be said about, you know, trying to uh, uh, put yourself in a superior position by eating your enemy's liver type deal. You know, it's, it, I, does, it does rather have a show of strength when you do that. I, <laughs> I get it. Okay, great. By the fucking Dracula, you stupid fucking Nazis! Dracula? The vampire? What? We're dealing with a ghost witch. What are you talking about? No, no, no. That would be too simple. Witches? Witches are simple. Witches are salt. Salt solves most witch problems. No, 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 no. No, these stupid fucks uh, had to go and unleash something that has become twisted and you know eats organs for information and dominance do you think that's something that anyone can learn to do <laughs> this is another moment where i drop the rifle and just huh no that's not something you learn that's something you get cursed and then have to wait for stupid fucking nazis to wake you up from your cursed tomb yeah, that's exactly exactly what I thought. Um, so I lean down to like where the Nazis are, and can I find a flask? I want to give it to this Frenchman. And be like, here, dulls the pain. I'm gonna think to myself, well, this is a really well planned out hazing ritual for the new recruits. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the the radio operator had a flask on him. <laughs> yeah, I take the flask and I hand it to the. Uh, to the Frenchman to, uh, like, you know, dull his nerves, make him, like, Merci. a little calmer. It's probably not that good. I, I Germans drink are known them. for their beer, but not so much their hard liquor. Give him a little cheers. I'll take it. <sighs> okay, okay. Pull out my Zippo and light my cigarette. Like, take a quick look around, take a drag on it. She's... Like, all right, it's an odd... Where where is that? They're at the tavern. Is that what you said? The uh, the tavern seems to be the where where uh, where this the the thing that was here went. Um, I turned to the Frenchman and asked if he actually speaks English in any way, or even a little bit. A, a little bit. Okay. He says um, in English. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he he ha he can explain where his hotel is. I'm hoping. Um, oui. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, he tells you. Uh, yeah, it's basically it is. Uh, it's on the uh, the um, uh, south end of the village, uh, sort of in the path coming uh, down from Toulouse. Uh, it is uh, the uh, it is behind a, a wall. Uh, it is uh, used to be a, a castle, it's a chateau à Bourges. It was uh, par part of it's built into the, the, the uh, into it. Um, it was well, it's not a it's more of a well, it is a chateau, um, but uh, it um, it was one of our houses mm -hmm. that she Great. had at the time. I think that is at least that is what that is what they told me when I bought the place. She went home. Corporal, so, Corporal Fairbanks, Corporal Fairbanks, can you remind me again what our orders were for this uh, fucked up mission? Sure, 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 Corporal, uh, sure, boss. Uh, we were to 
come here uh-huh or to observe yeah retrieve if possible deny if necessary all right he kicks the nazi <laughs> again <laughs> well the, the nazis don't have it they're dead yeah i i feel like uh we got something over here blevins has got it let's get the fuck out of here let's go i home. gave it to tanode Oh, good. Let's just pass it around. Everybody get it. Everybody get the chance. Yeah, to... I, I can hold yeah, on to it. It's, it's hold fine. on to the shiny disc. Let's get out of here. Uh, right. As much as I would agree with you, Corporal, there's a there's a significant problem. Uh, kicks the Nazi one more time. Yeah, sounds uh, like if a you French keep German kicking problem. a dead body, we're never going to get out of here. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> the, no, just Corporal. This sucks. Okay, she, if she's operating the way I think she is, is quickly coming up to speed on the current situation. Yeah. She is blessed with terrible purpose, like yeah. grits teeth. So, I don't know about you, but if I had been, you know, murdered, yeah. cursed thrown into a well, got out of the well, um, by four But hey, Fairbanks, what's, what's the point? What's the point, Fairbanks? We gotta kill the bitch. <laughs> we're, we're in occupied territory. This thing just killed more Nazis than I've seen us kill in a month. Let's let it keep going. It's not gonna stop with Nazis, boss. It's going to carve out another empire for its, its very hangry self. But in the what long run, though, to... France is our ally, so having a strong France does benefit us. As are the Brits, and they're the ones that killed her. So, I mean... Again, th this thing is not going to stop killing. Like, I... Like, like Nazi Germany. I mean, that's what like, we're talking about, right? It, so... Like, honestly... What's to prevent a cursed undead she bitch from eating enough Nazis that all of a sudden she's the new Hitler? Okay, Hitler de jour, undead Hitler de jour. Like, okay, she's Hitler gonna, she's gonna fucking die. The good news is, most of these situations, if you apply enough fire to them, fire solves it. Oh, see, they just see, just cut to the point, Fairbanks. That's all I needed to hear was that. Let's go blow this fucking tavern up. We'll call it quits. Go home. The the old man is looking a little concerned now. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, it's a chat, chateau, boss. This probably has underground bits to it, and it's her home. It's a defensible place. We're going to have to go in, find the bitch, and make sure that she burns. So, sir, I do need to ask along these lines that my uh, my compatriot here is speaking. I, I don't know if you understood it all, but what we do need to know now is how many entrances are to your your hotel here, your your tavern. Oh, uh, it's a, there's a front and a back door. Okay. So what I'm going to need you to do, and I take out my helmet and put it on his head. There's a farmhouse down that way. I need you to secure it. We'll be there before morning. All right, just stay there, hunker down. You don't want to have that hotel anymore. I hope you had insurance. And I pat him on the back and I push him towards the hotel, or towards the uh, farmhouse. I, I don't think it's going to take a lot of convincing. Um, Hotel's haunted. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the... Uh, I, I will just briefly, if for anyone who has any type of, and this could be uh, this, this could be any type of military knowledge related type deal, um, might come into play here um, for just a knowledge of a thing. Um, does anyone have anything like that? Hmm? Like IRL or? No, 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 no. In, uh, in, uh, as, uh, as a skill. Sheet. Okay. Sheet. Yeah, I have espionage. If that is close enough. Uh, that'll do. We all yeah. have we all have common knowledge. I don't know if. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, you would we, extend that we, to we, common military knowledge. Yeah, yeah or... we might go to that in just a moment. Um, it could be, it it could be that, but um, yeah. Um, mm. And also, folks can go ahead and do the common knowledge if they would like to on this one. Um, but you probably need to have a raise on it for. Nope. Oh dear. Okay. What What are we common knowledgeing hey. on? Um, or are we just rolling? This is uh, this is a thing. That I would. Uh, this is a. You're common knowledging on whether I will tell you a thing. Um, <laughs> I got about, a five on uh, espionage at least. So. Yeah. On the wild die. Okay, yeah. good, good. Okay. So, uh, strangely enough, it's going to be Billy Joe and. Uh, and. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Country Boy can survive. Special <laughs> And Tanad, yeah. Basically, it's it's gonna be yeah yeah no Murphy Mur Murphy didn't get a raise, um, but uh, since you had uh, since Tanad since you were using espionage it was more specific then you would know this kind of as well, um, that sort of realizes this thing that okay so if you know as you'd heard if this was one of Himmler's people, um, and this is the most basic just sort of type deal, they're going to send more. Um, there are rumors that Himmler has a di his own division of people that, uh, I mean, we know that Himmler has his own division of people, but there are rumors that Himmler has a program going of people who study the occult specifically and try to basically vacuum it up. Um, there are rumors that these people know some kind of magic, uh, or something that uh, basically gives them a serious edge um, where just very few of them can take out many people. Um, so if this was one of those, and he was taken by surprise, obviously, um, probably, you know, uh, Himmler's going to want whatever this thing is. <laughs> um... Yeah. And so this place is probably... Now, who knows how that will go, but uh, Germany has rather a lot of resources. <laughs> All right, I remember that campfire tale from Major Burns. Well, if everyone's taking this seriously, then we should probably get out of here. So I'm just saying, I'm not saying like immediately is that they're going to show up immediately, but as far as sort of in the longer term... If you leave this situation as it is with this person there at the end, um, the Nazis may eventually have her. Basically, is what I was uh, kind of the uh, what I'm suggesting here. All right. Well, let's take care of this mama bear. I mean, this ghost, while we can. But again, explain to me the idea that so we're going to destroy our Fairbanks. Is that what you're saying? We need to find her and terminate her. And so, otherwise, the Nazis will get a hold of her and then use her. Otherwise, any number of horrific and terrible scenarios could play out. All right. All right, let's go. Yeah. This, this this shit yeah. can't happen to us. Yeah. yeah. Worst case scenario, for those of you who, uh, who are thinking about this, know the occult and have, you know, especially if you succeeded at many of these roles recently. Uh, worst case scenario, they get a hold of her and figure out how to make more. Oh, yeah, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> wow, cloning bears. Never thought I'd see it Good in my time. Cloning bears. In ponchos. Yeah. Yes. I'm telling you, it's a, it's a mom bear trying to protect her cubs. That's all it is. Yeah, that's probably all it is. Really mad mama bear. My I'm, goodness. I'm going to give everyone another Benny because this has been delightful and excellent role playing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. I'm playing their hindrances very at, well. At this point, Fairbanks actually pulls his his service pistol again and just goes hypocritic oath, don't cover if you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> so I will turn to Fairbanks and say um, if this was made from desecrating a corpse or like uh, casting something on a corpse, should we make sure that uh, the Germans don't find their supplies? I motion to all the bodies easily accessible. Should we do something with uh, 
The bodies there can do any number of things. I mean, hell, uh, one of my classmates accidentally did a bunch of stuff. So, and and he was just following the notes of a previous, you know, graduate. Anyway, like, honestly, the the the. If you don't believe me, you can look up all of your secret Wuji stuff on Herbert West. Um, but no, the. That's not a major concern. That is a minor concern. She is the big thing because, yeah, no, they. She doesn't have access to knowledge of how to defeat tank. They have tanks. They can get her. We need to get her before they do. All right, let's go. Oh, we'll do. All right. How far are we from sunrise? Um, it's still oh, it's still several hours. Because yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were in dusk. It's probably right. been an hour. Yeah. So yeah. it's yeah. like eight now. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, you've got plenty of time before sunrise. I tap out the last of my of my, my three cigarettes that I have. I'm like, let's get this thing done. Let's go. All right. Let's so. Do it. You start heading. You so you head over the hill. You're able to see the town, um, and uh, it it has you know you, you have a number of uh, you know a few a few older buildings. You can see the older section of town. You sort of on the south. It's, it's a very pretty pretty small town, um, and. Uh, You having directions? Uh, the you know the the innkeeper gave you directions, so you can find the uh, the, the chateau. Uh, yeah, remarkable lack of guards out here, um, which is uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, see, there are a few there 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 is you know you see a couple of a uh, couple of German trucks. Nobody's in them. Um, uh, just give me a quick sec. Looking at one of the German trucks, I'm just going go in because I am terribly under armed for this sort of shit and going to see about like harvesting from the dead at this point because everything's bullshit and just grab whatever like guns, ammo grenades, anything I can get my grubby little hands on. I would like you to uh, pick for me a, uh, a suit of cards uh Spades, clubs, diamonds. Okay. It's spades. Spades. Yeah. All right. Yep. And we're gonna draw a card real quick. Clubs. Um. So, yeah, it looks like basically there are some. Uh, yeah, you, you. Um. You know, it looks like that whoever. Uh, so you're able to find there's a um, th there is a body uh, near one of the trucks you're able to find um, that has it, but the trucks themselves don't really have much. Yeah. Um, the the body has like another pistol and another rifle. Cool. I'll take the rifle and the pistol ammo. Okay. Yeah. So you have another of those in each of those. So eventually you approach this uh, this this inn. It's um, it's I mean it looks like a big kind of house. Um, this is a big uh, house made of uh, made of bricks. Um, it has a wall outside it, so it's got a sort of a courtyard. Um, but you know it had a gate at one time that doesn't have a gate anymore because that's you know that was gone long ago. Um, because because the invaders came and took it down back during the Middle Ages. Um, and uh, you see the you see the sign, and you know you, you find on the way there are um, you, you you note that there are a few bodies also out here, uh, German troops. Um, they, they're in a similar state to the ones you found in the graveyard. Um, you see the you see the sign for uh, for a chateau auberge swinging merrily back and forth on its uh, on its shingle, a little bit of blood splattered on it. 
and uh, you have uh, you have a front door and a back door. Fairbanks, based on your knowledge, will any of the things we have on us actually matter or help? It will. He- Again, she's still made of meat, so anything that will hurt meat will probably hurt her. It's just, it's going to take a lot to hurt dead meat. That's why fire usually fixes all problems. Um, Definitely do not want her getting away. So, Corporal, if we could... Can we booby trap one of your satchel charges out the back? Yeah. Tripwire? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Just don't forget that it's there. So. It's, don't, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that will at least let us know if she's trying to escape, she's going to get one hell of a surprise. And just sort of by way of, uh, as you'll now see the uh, the map that I have there, it's oh. um, it's kind of that kind of deal. Um okay. It's, I'm just you know you I, I'm showing you the whole map because it's not doesn't take a uh, it doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure out what would be inside. Um, Which door is the bar in the tavern? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> How the top is door the front door? The bottom door? The front door? The top door is the front door. Okay. Is it a two-story structure or just? It is a two-story structure. Um, the 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 area where you know the stairs are probably somewhere in the uh, in uh, are probably somewhere like I would say like right about there. And he did, um, he did say there's a wine cellar of some sort, or some lower level, or is that us? That was you. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, it would make sense for there to be a wine cellar. Yes. <laughs> um, it's pro- but I'm going to say that that's not actually attached to this building. It's um, okay. there. There's actually another. Okay. Kind of a little structure you could go down into if you wanted to go and get at the wine cellar. Do we see any movement around the outside of this place from where we are? Nope, just the sign swinging back and forth merrily. Nope. Any lights on? Merrily. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, the lights are on. <laughs> if we can well, catch, if we can catch her, we can tie her up with my rope. I got rope. We could. I looked at Fairbanks. But Is it, soaked it might be easier just to shoot. Look how many people this bear has killed, Blevin. We can't, we can't just uh, can't just tie it up. We have to we have to take it out. Well, I thought you said we you was gonna set it on fire. Well, I mean, it we need a sitting still to set it light on fire. Which is what the rope would be for. I mean, I'll walk it, inside. We can just pump it full of lead. That's fine too. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll rig up the the back door that anything comes through there, this char this satchel charger go off. Oh, okay. Uh, do you have like uh, a a knowledge skill related to this kind? Do I have uh, demolitions at my highest stat? Excellent. I think now is the time to roll that. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is that is a success. Huh? Rolling fantastic. So you uh, you you're able to rig it up so that you can blow it at your leisure. Um, oh, I got two left. And uh, so, and you folks, did you say you're heading in the front or what? Yeah, well, yeah let's front. let's let's be polite. We'll knock first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll follow. Everyone As they're asleep. knocking, I'm definitely you know taking out my rifle and just aiming straight into the building. Uh, I'm attaching the bayonet to my, my rifle just to just to be ready. <laughs> the nice. Naf. Awesome. Okay. So you head into the tavern. Um, and... Uh, You see that there are um, there there are a couple of dead Nazis in here as well, uh, just sort of you know, sort of hanging out. Um, the uh, do they look like they were uh, alive long enough to 
attempt self-defense or did they die where they were sitting? Um, well, uh, from, you know, upon your entering, it's like you, you can see that. Uh, that looks like uh, it looks like they, they died there. Um, pretty much they, they, they were starting to try to get up and, you know, guns are lying on the floor. Um, <clears throat> sort of in the back, sort of away over here. Uh, sort of, sort of way in the back, you can kind of see, and here there's like this mass moving around, shall we say, just sort of cloth, and you hear this kind of thing going on. Pointing right at that. <laughs> That'll be the cubs. Bonjour, mademoiselle. All right. So. She rises, and uh, she lunges is... before she talks. I'm taking the shot. <laughs> she rises, and she has uh, what looks like sort of iron-colored skin and red glowing eyes. Um, and is draped. There's your bear in this. See, this... ghost witch. Refle reflection of the lamp. And she has. Uh, she's wearing. So she is. She has also. Um, over her robe, she has thrown on one of the officer's coats. Okay. One of was um, she's now wearing a military coat, and uh, she and she looks and cocks her head. And at this point, everyone who is looking at her uh, does need to make a fear check. Oh boy! Mm -hmm. uh, so please roll your spirit. <laughs> Okay, so what do I roll at dis I um what is it that I roll um I roll for sanity loss double, right? Yeah, if you uh, if you fail your spirit roll, then you would uh, then you would lose uh, two sanity instead of one. I'm going to use a Benny to re-roll. You did What's not fail your spirit. Score? Roll. Uh, also keep in mind if anyone rolls snake eyes, you cannot re-roll. You cannot use a Benny on that. Um, <laughs> but you need you need at least a 4. Did you hear Jeez, I, I spent Levin's is yes. <laughs> it's my five. All right. Um, Thomas is just go. working eh, for you. We got a free Benny. I'll use one. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is my Benny over here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do, yeah. Go ahead and clear it off the uh, the thing if you use if you used a Benny. All right. Um, <laughs> Levin's is just fine. Yeah. It's, you know. She's, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> she's dressed up. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> Y'all are scaring yourselves with bad time stories. So, yeah, explain this. From well, you said, well, Theo, you succeeded your first your <laughs> yeah. first roll though. It looks you like. did. Oh, I did. Yeah, you got, got a four, four on the wild die. Do you want to go with now? Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoops. All right. Yeah, so you can yeah you can take that Benny back. You you got a four on the wild die. I missed so. that wild die. Yeah. Boop. It was Tenad had to reroll. Um, yeah, I had to. But, yeah. But uh, yeah, you succeeded. Okay. Um. So, uh, she looks. I'm about ready to huck this last satchel charge and back out of here. And uh, she sort of is looking at you, and she will say, um, in uh, in French, um, "What is your business in my realm?" Um, I will say. We were here to take out the gentleman whose coat you're wearing. So thank you for that. His compatriots also are a problem for us, but it sounds like not a problem anymore. Why are you talking to it? Bear speak French, Blevins. Everyone knows that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crazy hazing ritual, but you go ahead. Let me know when to shoot. He uh, is slowly starting to drift forward a little bit. Up this charge, Tanad. Why closer. are you? Why are you here? I definitely reach for the bolt. You are, you are these invaders' enemy. Yes. That's why. Actually, do I have anything 
Wait. Oh, there's on me? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, there have been plenty of bodies between here and there, so I mean... I don't think a... I picked up any of their stuff. I think only Fairbanks picked up any of their stuff. Fairbanks? <laughs> nah. Sort of looks. <laughs> like, after Puccino goes... Why do you... Unless you ask, um... You, do you like them seek conquest? We There's weren't part of this war America. until very recently. We tried staying out of it. We had to protect our friends. Okay, I'm going to need you to make a persuasion roll for me, please. Roll good to not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see where this... Oh, that's not one of my good skills. That should be one of my good skills. Oh, we dear. Uh, yeah. Do you oh, have yeah, persuasion? Or? I do have persuasion, and it should be a d6 instead of a d4, so let me just change that right quick. Okay. Uh, there we go. Now roll it. Let's use a Benny. Okay. <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> so let's just do that right quick. Double four. There we go. Okay. So, it's not terrible. Um, she does... Uh, uh, so quick, uh, yeah, um, yeah, all right, so she will, uh, she will sort of be like, what do you, and, uh, and she, she will sort of nod slowly, your friends, who are, uh, so wait, when, when the um, the, ho the hotel owner said uh, she died in the Holy Wars, or the Holy Wars is when she died, um, would this place be called France at that point, or would this still be Gaul? Because I would have chosen my words properly. It's for... a great question. Um... Whichever one it is, I'll say that. It could have been, yeah. That's um... one for history. Okay, yeah, no, it would have, it would probably be, um, let, let me, I'm sorry, let me, uh, Ah. Uh, gall. Yeah, let's just assume that whichever one it is is the one that I say. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so uh, roughly, this would have been around the 1200s. I think it was in France by that point. Um, yes, it would. Yeah, I would say. Well, one of them is the Fr uh, is France. Um. We. Oh, I don't know what I would say. We have a, an interest in protecting the area. It's, as I said, they're our friends. Um, it sounds like you have this place covered, so we're going to head to Toulouse. As long as you uh, don't need any assistance. Because as I said, as a French woman, you are an ally of mine now. And I, can, I would be willing to help. You would make a compact with me, then. I'm going to roll a cult really quick and see if I... Can, can I also yeah, I'll say see if yes. I know that? Sure! I, roll, I, roll I also low. have a cult. I rolled low. I'm going to say yes. <laughs> All right. I'm iffy, but I... Yeah, I guess no red, red flags. Not. Yeah, doesn't seem like any, a red flag to me. Yeah, anyone who has a cult can roll it if they want, but yeah. Uh, sure, she's... sure, sure. Let's let's do this. I'll I, I don't know. <laughs> this sounds great. This sounds yeah. like an awesome deal. Um, oh, no. deal yeah. <laughs> no, a compact, like like one I've of those just, tiny mirrors. Like no. contract never had. <laughs> I've just read a contract where the supernatural being has never gone poorly for anyone. Yeah, no, I'm never. just chalking this up to the language barrier and not knowing French at all, let alone 12th century French. I don't know Wait. what the fuck she just said. <laughs> I, I will <laughs> say right. she is speaking something not unlike mo modern French um, at this point. It is tinged with, it is strangely accented. It is tinged. A few words are kind of more archaic that she's using. Um, but she seems to, ha to have been catching up. <laughs> uh, I will again, say. I am um, I still don't have, will, I know a little German. So, yeah, she will. She will start. She will continue drifting forward, then, and she says, Turn "Where on. do you hail from?" Oh, let's see. Where do um, you hail from? 
America just exists. Wow. Um, <laughs> How to explain America? <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm trying yeah, to explain from... whether I should, because no land that yeah. I would be from, even my parents' parents, no, are no. from a place that France didn't know about. Dude, dude uh, across if the sea. A, if you have enough occult, you can lay claim to being from Atlantis. Does anyone uh, does anyone have anything like history or anything similar that might uh, academics? Does anyone did anyone pick up academics or anything like that? Uh, yeah, give me a sex. <laughs> All right. Nope. No. All right. Yeah, no problem. Uh... <laughs> I got common knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> Unskilled. Smarts. That's one of the few knowledges I I chose to avoid. <laughs> no worries. Should shouldn't be a problem. I'm just looking back and forth between my two eggheads. I'm like, what? What are we doing? Um, I will say, just to keep my, keep myself vaguely local for her, I'll say Belgium. <laughs> we are from France. <laughs> <laughs> We're going okay. full um, inglorious. Carlos Vus Frankies. Belgium is strange. Much has changed. It's been quite a bit of time. And uh, she's kind of uh, sort of turning her head a little bit. Um, I, I'm going to actually roll to see if she notices something. Okay, what is yeah. she standing next to at this point? Um, is she by I, the bar? Where are we standing? Yeah, she's, she's coming up to the end of the bar at this point. Okay. Um, I just need to see... Uh, I need to see her... Uh, there's nothing terribly flammable near us besides off the hall. Oh, I learned how to ping on the map. Yay. Let's see. I'm going to make a smarts roll for her real quick. Just to see if she noticed. I think, well, actually, wait. Does she have notice? That's that's what I should look to see. Does she have notice? She does. It's the same as her smarts. Okay. Notice me, French pie. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Okay. Um, so no, she's sort of drifting like forward. She says, "It is strange. You are. Uh, it is almost the way you speak. It is almost like the like an English, one, but not quite. Hmm. Unusual. They conquered a lot of places. They forced their language on many." This is true. Oh, I know that all too well. All too well. And she's now, yeah, she's now about, uh, you know, she's about like, uh, you know, I assume you guys, you folks are clustered up here. Um, yeah. She's, yeah. She's like there. And she's, uh, so I'm, she, I'm she, slightly she stops outside at the, the door with the rifle trained yeah. on her still. Okay. Yeah, she stops here. Same. Um, mm -hmm. And she will say, and she will extend a, uh, a clawed hand. Uh, uh, well, long fingernailed. It's uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, air claws. Yeah. And, uh, what, what the and fuck uh, she says, "If we are to, if we shall make our compact, then you will carry my message to your leaders." Yes. Yes, um, messages are difficult, and these are dangerous times. Would you be able to scribe it so that I can just deliver the actual missive mm. to those who need to see it? Just in case I can't make it, at least my allies can make it, bring the message to who it needs to get to. And she actually, she's thinking about it. Very well. And uh, she uh, she will actually um, reach over to where there are um, there are some paper menus. I wanted her to walk further away. <laughs> she picks one. She grabs one off the bar. She sets it down. On the bar, she places her hand on it, and you see f little bits of fire erupt on the menu. 
which she then removes her hand from, and you see these these words being burned into the menu. Mm. What the fuck is happening? I will uh, turn to Pacino and say, we should just light the whole place. It's not even worth it anymore. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. I just whispered that to. I whispered that down. And uh, on three, get she, the hell out of here. She starts. She starts sliding it toward you. It start, It's the message starts sliding toward you of its own yeah, accord. Some, yeah. And she says, "If you would, now, I will make an offer. If you would leave one of yours for me to learn of your people from, I will give you." I will, I can grant you Three, two, a portion of my ability. Do you desire? Oh, it? one. We we've learned how she. We know how she learns. Yeah. Well, I know that. <laughs> I huck in my yeah, special. But, but but the rest of us don't speak French. And... Yeah, none of you speak Wait. French. But I'm like, uh, I am that boss. bad of a person. <laughs> um, I will say. I, I will um, well, well, look at the, let, I'll pick let, up the message and I put it in my coat. Well, before this yeah. is happening, I just need yeah. to know if there is if there is ordinance being thrown or or are you waiting for uh, uh, for Tanad to finish? <laughs> he's going to burn the whole place. That's all I yeah, understood. No, he's going to throw the ordinance. I know that much. Ah, will, okay. As the ordinance is about to go over my shoulder, I'll say, I'll motion to Blevins like they just got out of academy. They know the most. Ah. And. She locks eyes with Blevins, and now we're going to uh, we're going to deal out initiative. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I'm excited if for I this. I out of this thing without blowing something up. I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> yeah. Did you not take the charge from the well? You just left it there. Oh, that the, that the charge from the well is the one on the door. Oh, yeah. so you have. Folks, yeah. please so let me know if you have any yeah, uh, okay. if you have any edges that uh, affect the cards that you get for initiative. Um. In the meantime, I'm going to give you these cards. Okay. Ooh. Oh, cool. I go first. And Mine were both about uh, not getting ambushed. So I got and uh, Madame Laurent goes on a 10. Uh, so Tanad goes first. What do you want to do? Um... Ooh. So wait, pre-combat was the ordinance thrown, or is it? Like, it no, is. I can just tell. It is the... in the process of happening. Okay. So um, it won't happen until his card, but uh... yeah. All right. <laughs> so let me think then. What I'm going to want to do, because I'm not a combatant, I take out people before they notice me. Uh, I don't survive like that kind of thing. I'm going to, and I gave my helmet away. I forgot. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, I know. I'll, I'll spend the at my action trying to see if I can um, use the disc, the ward, mm -hmm. uh, protect myself or and or anyone else in the group, but primarily myself first. Okay. Um, from harm from her because this ward was used for her keep her at bay, so. I think now is the time for you to make an occult roll. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Alright, this is one of my worst skills. I, only, do I don't want to use another Benny. No, I want to use, keep know. those two. Alright. <laughs> for safety. You're not sure how to use this thing. Uh, but, uh... Could I say, I think I knew how to use it, and I think it's active? Point towards enemy. Yeah, I mean, you can just make an assumption. <laughs> okay. I think it's working. Okay. All right, there you go. Protect me. Um, on, you do know. On. You do know when you uh, when you hold that up. Uh, do you, do you hold it up so she can see it or no? Uh, I feel like well, it's in my coat, so I was putting the the note away. So I'm putting it in the same place where the thing is. So I'm just holding it in my coat. You're holding it in your coat. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I'm like, it's just in my pocket here. Okay. Actually, it'd be on this side, because I wanted to put it over my heart just in case I got shot. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, you're holding on to it. Um, okay, so that's your turn. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, now uh, we are... The, the, the madame. We are down to the... Uh, 
Yeah, you're down to the to to uh, to, the, to uh, Madame Laurel. Um, scary pants. So, she actually, uh, I think, is going to see that uh, Bacino is uh, is throwing something at her, or preparing to. Um, and uh, so she does not like that. Mm-hmm. She she is not pleased. Um. So. Yeah, I think she's. Uh, I think she's gonna rush you. <laughs> nah. Surprise, surprise. Um, whereabouts are you? You're in the in in the midst of the folks clustered on the uh, on the inside. Here. I was I was starting to back up, but I just he was just kind of trying to find out what was going on. Yeah, in in the the puddle. Yeah, in, in the puddle of of folk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she is moving lightning fast uh, yeah. to get to you. Um. And um. And yeah, so um. And uh, so uh, she's going to uh. Yeah, she's she's going to reach forward to uh to grapple you. Um, and so basically she is diving in. Uh, this will be sufficient. Uh, I will say before she does this. Uh, Billy Joe, you do have first strike, so if you want to do something, you may. Uh, you may yeah, try to hit her. Uh, well, let's see. First strike. Which, if when, now when she moves right next to you. Well, it's when she moves into range, so I think I think first strike would have had to have been like when she moved closer pre-combat. Well, no, it's it's uh, well, first strike is is a melee type deal, so it's like when they are actually physically in the oh. square right next to you, basically. Uh, um, which she is. So I mean, if you want to uh, either now, uh, you you would uh, if you want to use a gun, it would have to be a pistol. Uh, if you're trying to f fight someone, you know, is right next to hit someone right next to you, or you could use your rifle as a club um, yeah. or something. I had like my that. knife in my you, offhand. You've got your knife, so you could use your knife. Yeah. Um, as a free attack, could I drop? Well, I guess dropping a gun wouldn't be recommended. I'll just stab with my offhand. You can you can stab. It's cool. Um, all right, go ahead and um, and uh, perform your uh, make a fighting roll, please. Okay. Oh, that's very oh, good. Oh, baby. Okay, uh, so you're going to get the bonus damage. Um, okay. So go ahead and do your knife damage. Okay, so that's one d four. It says. Fork tank. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so it's going to be a total of four damage. Um, you should also get your strength since that's a melee. So you yeah. should get your strength. Uh, die. Okay. Yeah. You should get a strength die. In the, yeah, not the wild die, but you should get a strength. Uh... In the damage. Yeah, it's yes. it's it's uh, it's, uh, it's your strength die plus a d4. And, okay. Uh, should I just the... do that again? I have it set. A quick um, yeah, side go ahead. How do you put your damage in the weapon? I'm trying to do that, and it won't do it for me. There's a uh, a drop down thing, uh, just sort of under it. Uh, there's a there's a gear. Uh, basically that you can uh, go to um, where it's Let's see if I can explain if you've got if you've got your weapon uh, weapon set up basically and you have and you open the little gear underneath okay. the the line where you type in what it is uh, and say whisper roll to GM and then button behavior but then behind it will say damage and that's a drop down menu uh, if you click on on the, uh, the damage there in sort of the yellow section then you can add uh, you know, your specific type to it. Um, but in this case, we have uh, um, 14 damage, which is decent. Um, 14, shouldn't it just be 8? Uh, you get your bonus damage plus your uh, plus the uh, the other dice that you rolled. Oh, so I basically rolled a crit with this 13? You did very well, yes. You got... Uh, oh, you got your bonus damage, and then you got your because because you you got more than a raise, you can uh, you basically you get the bonus damage, which is an extra d6, which it aced, and so you got a you got a total of eight on that one d6, and then you have a d6 plus a d4 to get your uh, your uh, your other damage, and so that was six damage plus eight damage is fourteen, um, and uh, let's see. All right. Do 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 do. I've used the same knife on several other bears, and I got the scars to show for it. <laughs> so, now the thing is, so yeah, that's a um, fourteen, which is good because that's that that is enough to shake her, 
Uh, does not cause a wound, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> but she is uh, she is now shaken. Um, I should also give her her venies if she you know, because you know she's an NPC. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, so yeah, you uh, so yeah you you you, you managed to like and she's like and uh, she does not successfully grapple uh, Bacino. Uh, so now we are down to Fairbanks. It is your turn. You have an eight. What do you want to do? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's gonna be shooter. I've got my pistol drawn since we're in close quarters, uh, and I'm gonna try and do this thing that I'm not really good at, but hell, I'm gonna give it the old college try. Little pods. Now she is shaken, so you actually could step away if you wanted to. Uh... I'm gonna use a Benny. I'm... No, I can't. That's yeah, you can't. Okay. okay so... Jam, I'm gun, guessing. Yeah, gun jams. You were you're like, <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, Fuck. yeah, you're gonna have to spend an action to unjam it if you want to use it. Um, do you want to move? You can. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna move towards. Ah, uh, shit. She's shaking uh, right now, so you can you can withdraw without. I'm her actually speaking. gonna go past her behind the bar. Okay, you're behind the bar. Uh, please tell me there's some liquor in this place. There is liquor in this place. Yes, that's next turn. Okay. <laughs> um, I like where that's going. Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's see. Next. Uh, next we are down to the seven. That's Murphy. What would you like to do? Yeah, uh, so since I had my rifle trained on her since the beginning, am I already aiming? or? Uh, I'll give you aim, yes. Okay, uh, I'm going to take the shot. All right, let's do it. All right, so roll shooting. Yep. Oh, wait, no, I just roll the... I already have it set up to you shooting, I think. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's going to be a hit. And bam. Oh, that's so much damage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so point of order, though, since it's aim and has a scope, isn't that plus four? So that makes it an eight, which is a raise. On the uh, on the roll? Yes. Yes, it would be. Um, okay. So that means you get 20 instead of 18. Uh, <laughs> helping you out. Uh, okay. So let's see. C four and it's, let me just see again. I appreciate that because I have no idea how this system works yet. Oh no worries. <laughs> uh, so you did twenty damage to her. Her toughness, I'm going to just say, is eleven. Um, and uh, so let's see, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So uh, basically, it's a it's, it's uh, hit with two raises, um, and uh, that means that she will be at. Uh, that that would cause that would cause her two wounds. Um, let me just check something real quick. That sounds sure like a good thing for us to inflict. Yeah, mm -hmm. that she doesn't have anything where, where it's. Um, nope, that's what I can see. Her hide's already factored in. No, she's yeah, you're good. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go ahead. She's gonna try to soak that. And so that's going to be a Vigor roll for her. She has a d10 in Vigor. Oof. And the Wild Die. Okay, she only had one success, so she is still wounded. Um, Just wounded one. But she's only two. got one wound right now. But you have, uh, yeah, you've hit her and you see this, uh, this red... It's kind of this this sort of sparkling blood coming out of her, um, as it looks like it's it's this this very this blood has a lot of iron in it, uh, <laughs> hot metal blood coming out. And she's like, she's like, <sighs> she's she upset. bleeds, she dies. Let's take her out. She's very <laughs> upset. Okay, um, so that was Murphy, and uh, we are over to uh, uh, Hearts Blevins. Okay, so. Um... I guess at this point, uh, she's close enough for me to, you know, see the actual red eyes and the sparkling blood and realize that this is not a bear. This is not a bear, no. Also, most okay. bears have trouble with French. <laughs> well, yeah. Muriel I mean, said all bears speak French, so. Yeah. yeah. No, that's what I told. Well, I, f I figured he was he was messing with me, and I just just assumed that. Mm. I mean, I don't know what French well, is. I well, they have trouble with medieval growling. French. They're they're better with modern French. I'll the bear was just growling. Yeah. 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 Um, so Growls I'm... in French. <laughs> Sorry. Can I, like, make a make a fear check at disadvantage or right. something? There we are. 
Uh, well, at this point, let me let me just look or at your uh, let me look at your hindrance real quick. Yeah. Uh, just to see how we wrote this go. one. Um, yeah. I mean, it's uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not really yeah. Th this the the way the Weird Wars wor version of this works. Um, it doesn't really penalize you uh, for that too much. Um, okay. So it's yeah, you'll be okay, but uh, since since you made the initial check, but um, this is very disturbing. Okay, so I'm gonna drop my gun. My eyes get real wide, and I start shaking, <laughs> and I just I I take a breath, like get hitch, out on I our hitch in my I hitch in my chest, and I just I I sh I like shut one eye and just just stab it again, and I I God, turn wait, turn away. Wait. Okay. Um, go ahead then, and if you would make a uh, make your fighting roll, and we'll see if you can see if you can hit this thing. Uh, that's fighting roll. Nope. Okay. So I whiff it. That's yeah. Basically, it's gonna yeah. That's not even gonna come close. She's she's moving so fast. It's like yeah. You could re-roll yeah. if you want to spend. But you could yeah if you want to. Spend oh a yeah, bandage, I'll do that. Up to you. Okay yeah. Yeah. I'll slice twice. Always best to be sure. Eh, okay, I'll move it over. Wait, no, that's someone else's. Sorry, no, that's yeah, mine. No, that was yours. I, I, I pulled it off early. That's okay. Oh, You're good. Okay. Go um, all right. Yeah, I'll go again. I like the I counted to three, but everybody was ready to go. That's much better. Yeah. All that's right. much better. So that's uh, that is definitely going. I, I think I'm pretty sure that's going to. Hit. Let me check her parry. Yes, oh. you hit with a raise. Okay. Nice. Yeah, her parry is seven, so you get the bonus damage. You got a total of sixteen. Um, okay. So, yeah, once again, eleven total. So that would uh, that would do another wound. She's going to try to soak that. Yeah, she's out of bounds. She's going to do her vigor. Uh, going to do her vigor minus two, minus one, uh, which is seven. So that is enough to soak that wound. Um, that one wound that you just dealt. Uh, that also causes her to unshake. Uh, so she is, uh, so she's now like, <laughs> she sort of snaps out of it, uh, when you, uh, when you sort of, just barely, you sort of hit, and you hear this king as it, uh, hits the side of her skin, um, this sort of metallic sound, and, uh, she's like, <sighs> as she looks at you, um, and, uh, she's not, uh, she's not happy, not happy at all. <laughs> and it's, uh, over to Bugino. Yeah, uh, so the person that's only close is um, is Blevins, right? Uh, close to uh, close to her. Blast radius to her. I haven't moved, so I'm still right here. Yeah, it's it's Blevins and Tanad. Okay. I know Fairbanks backed away and went behind the bar. Murphy also is outside, so <laughs> not a problem. It seems like explosives are probably almost overkill. You guys are doing a good job with your, your own weapons. Um, yeah, I will. Uh, I'll just like get everybody, get out of here, everybody, get out of here, and I'll start taking us like steps back towards the door and, and like charge the satchel so it's ready. Like I just got to just drop the hammer on it. Ah, oh, excellent. Uh, go ahead and make a demolitions roll for me, please. <laughs> okay. Just barely. <laughs> okay, you think you're good. You should be okay. good. Okay. Excellent. Okay, yeah, that, that may become relevant in just a moment. That uh, <laughs> in just a moment, that uh, that edge. That's that's very good. That's a very good edge to have. Um, I'm prepared. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so that's that round. Next round. Maybe. Getting good yeah. draws here. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And she only has a four. All right. Um, so uh, that means Murphy goes first. Okay. Um, I'm just going to take another shot from where I am. All right. Yeah. I'm currently not in harm's way. Okay. <laughs> 
fire upon her. Okay, that is going to be a hit. Uh, no bonus damage, but you got 10. Um, you sort of you fire, and you hear a ching as it sort of bounces off her forehead. <laughs> off the side of her forehead. And she's like... She doesn't... She, you know, she seems okay. Um, that's uh, That was disturbing. Kanad, what would you like to do? Um... Let's see. So I've seen a bullet and a knife bounce off of her. Yeah, uh, some bullets have been penetrating. It's just they, they need to they need to get you know they need to get her. I'm not going to use a rifle at this range because I don't think I can. Uh, oh, I have my bayonet. Oh, but she promised me power. Get out of here. <laughs> um. Yeah. I guess what I'll do is I'll I'll move back and I'll Order take in. I'll take aim as I'm backing up. Okay, Get now back. remember the aim maneuver itself requires no movement, so um, you oh, won't get oh, it. Oh, that's further. right. Yeah. Uh, well, I can't use a rifle at close range anyways. Um, not, yeah, not if you're right next to her, no. <laughs> no, 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 I can't. Um, all right. Uh, do, do keep in I'm mind, gonna, you back I'm, up, I'm, she will get a swipe at you. Yeah, um... My parry's not that bad. Um, I'm gonna have to deliver her message. So, I mean, I gotta leave. She told me to deliver it. I gotta deliver it. I mean, that's fair. You didn't make the compact, I, I, but she did ask you to deliver a message. Um, I will say. Well, I'm gonna bring this up, chain up pan then, and I'll walk out. I don't think she's going to be rather immediately. Given that your allies have just attacked her, she's probably not uh, not going to be. Uh, she's she's going to take a swipe at you, um, yeah, and uh, so so doing. Oh, oh my theory um, is that bad. All right, never mind. <laughs> let's see. Oops. Oh, that's her fighting. Okay, yes. Well, I, I should I should have known. All right. Yeah. Oh. Huh. That's below my parry. Yeah. That's she's got. My parry. She's a little busy uh, attacking everyone else, <laughs> so you, she actually manages. To, you you manage to just uh, lean out of her, uh, <laughs> away from her oh, claws yeah. as you grab so, the uh, the piece of pa the piece of paper. So as you yeah, grab the I'm menu. Gonna, what I'm going to do is that um, I'm going to be you know kind about it. So I'm going to say I'm going to go now. I take a nice bow to say goodbye, because that's, you know, the right thing to do. And she just swipes above me, and then I'm like, all right, let's get going now. <laughs> awesome. What is the absolute Scooby-Doo of it all? <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yeah. And you're out, and yeah, you're you're, uh, you're out the door if you like. Um, <laughs> or wherever There's, you want to... See so Uriel casually I'm, walking past me? I'm going, no, I'm going to stop by you. Okay. So, Madame. We are over <laughs> to Blevins. So I have the extraction edge, uh, which which means I can, Ooh. yeah, um, when adjacent foe doesn't get a free attack when you withdraw. So um, I'm going to uh, stumble backwards, a, a shrill whine rising in my throat as I feel my chest constrict with fear and chills going all over my body. Um, and I'm going to just sort of back towards the door. I'm unable to take my eyes off her, so if uh, that that gives you a clearance to make me trip or anything or something. No, oh, that's fine. Um, I'm but yeah, no, you're okay. No, you can, you, you've got extraction for this. So you can, you still, you know, you, you, you can, you're trained well enough. You can, uh, you can, um, you can head yeah. toward the door. Okay. Um, and I, mm -hmm. I dropped my gun last turn and I figure in, in my state, I may not be, um, of, of the mind to pick it back up. Unless you say I should, you can. Uh, it's uh, like I said, mechanically you're, you're you're good. I'd say right now though, you're, you're given the amount of stress you're under right now, it's just really a question. I'll say go ahead and make a smarts roll for me to see if you can uh, think okay. think to grab the gun. All right. Okay, you just succeeded. Okay, cool. So it's like, so your foot brushes against the gun and you're like gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab the gun and head out. Okay. Yeah, you're like backing away, and she's like, she she's it looks looks like you know she's looking she's watching you as as, as you go, um, it's happening quickly, but she's like and 
Her eyes sort of widen and then narrow again, as though she's looking into your soul. Um, and uh, we're now over to Pacino. All right. So uh, if I take like three steps back and huck this thing and set it off, uh, what are the odds I'm going to blow up one of my friends or one of my uh, squad? Um, is anyone still inside? I think it's Fairbanks, right? Um, what's the radius on the... Bar. It'll be fine. He's yeah, got I'm cover. Sure. Yeah, it's I'm not sure. Far. Hit the deck! <laughs> All right, that's what I'm doing. Should I throw it or demolition it? What's, what's the better... Um, you have to throw it. You, you, uh, okay, so this is going to be athletics, uh, if, you, okay. if you picked up the athletics skill, uh, okay. which actually everyone has by default, so it should be... <laughs> Uh, if you picked up throwing, that should be part of athletics now. So that's okay. uh, that okay. basically you get to throw that in. Okay, no, oh, no, you I... hit, you hit the, you hit the, you hit the square you're looking to hit. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, if you yeah. would, Ooh. that's many. Okay. For the red die. So it's fifteen. Oh um, my god, that is with the red die. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, once again, that, that 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 would hit her with a raise. So. Uh, coming up, um, let's see, 15, uh, and I think that as far as it goes with uh, with Fairbanks being behind the bar, um, Don't forget, uh, you're going to get a certain amount of armor for that. Hmm? The edge that I messaged you? That I don't is... actually know 100% what that does, but... <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> oh, it is. Well, you know, you're outside, you're fine. You're, you're okay. I think I, I don't. What 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 is the what, no no? This? But um, mm -hmm. the the second part. Allies who've been around the character for a while and haven't acted when the attack hits get an agility roll to hit their dirt as well. Oh, cool. All right. So yeah, it's uh, if he can kind of see you. If you kind of if he kind of like you, you know even you know you give like even a little nonverbal. He you know. Um. So yeah. Uh, Horace, an agility roll is why. Here. Make an agility roll, please. Yes. Okay. <laughs> You're going to be just outside the radius on the far end of the bar now. If you've grabbed this liquor, yeah. you're like, ah! Just... So that's going to uh, do another wound to her. Uh, so she is now shaken and has two wounds. And uh, so, yeah, that's... Yeah, it looks like she's... It looks like her skin is glowing a little bit from the mm -hmm. blast. As you do this. And she is crying out. Medic! She's not very happy. <laughs> it's her turn. Uh, right. She's going to try to unshake. So it's spirit to unshake. And spirit roll minus two. She has a d12 for spirit. Really? Yeah, really? <laughs> oh well, I rolled a six. Oh, there you oh. go. I'll die. Twelve. Oh boy. Thirteen. So minus two is eleven. Um, so yeah, she's she's fine. Um, so yeah, she's so she can act now. Um, yeah, so she's going to. Uh, yeah, so who I wonder is closest to the door right now? I feel as though it might be Bacino, be, having been the one who just threw a thing in. I think so. That'd be pretty clear. She's going to like, she's, you know, she's there. It's like a split second and she's right in front of you. And she's going to, uh, she's going to strike at you, strike at you. Um, Second time. And uh, that, what's your parry? Uh, five. Yeah. She's not getting at you. <laughs> Somehow. <Yeah>. Somehow. <laughs> Rather luckily, the dice are ever in our favor. <laughs> just managing to, to get just out of the, out, of, out of her grasp. All wow. right, um, so that's her, and uh, we're down to Fairbanks. Uh, spending, spending a turn making a Molotov. Yeah, yeah. Um, between the, my field kit and the liquor, grabbing the highest proof thing, just going, okay. Uh, grabbing my lighter for next turn to be able to hunt this up this thing. And at the while, because yay, Miskatonic, uh, starts a chanting, Oxrod ad gablet lak sothoth nogla 
I'd zip zero. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right, so you're so you're just basically taking this round to make a Molotov. Yeah. All right. Uh, cool. Do you have any, uh, any, any any skills in anything that would uh, allow you to do this? Um. Well. That would help you do this, I should say. You can do it. I just want to know if it's I, it helps you. Let's see here. I've got a little broad. I've got streetwise. Yeah, sure. Why not? Roll streetwise <laughs> at minus two. Uh, I've also got knowledge, medicine, and common knowledge. Actually, I'd say roll mo- medicine. Do the medicine, please. Just use yeah, do, yeah, your medicine roll will be. Knowledge, medicine. Sufficient, yeah. Four. <laughs> Don't grab the bottle of grenadine and try to use that as a <laughs> Eat bitters, witch. All right. Yep. 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 You do it. You're you basically you you now have a Molotov. Yay! Next turn. Next turn. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Hey. Uh, That's nice. Ready. Hey, that's also nice. All right. Oh, you guys are getting great draws here. Okay. Um, almost everyone goes before her. Uh, so, Ace, Tanad, what do you want to do? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, we lost. Yeah. It's we, a... lost Tanad. we lost Tanad. We lost Tanad. Oh, no. So, Tanad's on hold uh, yeah. while we're figuring the rest okay. of this out. Um, um, hopefully, I think we'll be all right. Um, it's 617, by the way. Just so you, okay, just so you no, know. no, I got it, I got it. Okay, um, we're, uh, we're 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 very close, um, and uh, so we're just gonna go down onto Fairbanks. All right, light it and throw it. Don't miss. <laughs> that's that's the plan, boss. Is not to miss. Uh, I miss. Well, <laughs> Damn. My cigarette gets lit. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, so this. Uh, Arcs, uh, unfortunately, a little too uh, a little too close. Um, Gonna you, catch you, it. You hit the end of the bar, oh, and the entire God. bar is now on fire <laughs> as it uh, spreads up. It spreads back up. It um, as uh, yes, the, the the this is a very quickly spreading fire at this point. Um, so. Uh, that was uh, so. Yes, uh, the, the 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 chateau is now is now burning a little bit, um, and uh, so yes, uh, uh, Tanad, did you want to do something? I'm yeah, I'm back. Um, at this point, I will have to take I will take aim as I'm next to Murphy. Uh, and that does that take up my movement equivalent? Yeah. Or, yeah. All right, and then I'll take a shot if I uh, I can take a shot this turn. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and uh, if you aim and shoot, it's going to be a minus one. Uh, yeah, yeah, aim is actually not a move equivalent; it's an action. Uh, uh, so it's uh, so you're going to be at minus. So it's yeah. So you, it's it's basically it's a minus two for every uh, for every additional action you take up to three. So it's best to just snap the shot off. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just take the the shot then. Okay. Um, let's do that. Yeah, there are edges that make it easier, but yeah. I'll make your shooting. Might have lost me again. Oh, oh dear. We appear to. Okay, so he's getting a shot ready. Apparently, we've uh, we've uh, we just lost. I, I think he's uh, we're having issues. Uh-oh. Uh, so in the meantime, whilst that's happening, um, we're going to go on to Murphy. I'm also going to shoot her. Ah, excellent. Shoot her. What I do? a roll of shootery. Oh, all right. Their roll went through. Okay, like excellent. That. Yeah. So we got a couple of shots that are going off and, uh, so and hitting her. The first one, uh, the two and the one, I would have re-rolled, and I would have got that five. So ignore that last one. Okay. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and resolve yours first, uh, yep. Tanad. Uh, go ahead and uh, do your damage. Okay, so that's eight. Um, that again, you know, comes sort of hits her shoulder, ting, and she is she is upset. Um, it's not quite enough to damage her. 
And now, uh, I believe Murphy also made a shot. Yep. Go ahead and roll your damage. By the way, and uh, actually, before I even say anything else, I'm remembering, uh, looking at, you can use, in Adventure Edition, you can use bennies for damage, by the way, if you want to reroll damage. Um, so, uh, looking at this, uh, Murphy got 12. Oh, no, you got, no, Murphy. Murphy's shot, you got a raise, didn't you? I hit with a max, I assume that means I get a raise. Because you got, well, you got an, uh, you got uh, 8 on the wild die. Yeah, eight with raise. and so yeah, that's that's a raise because you're going for four, and then when you're shooting, and then you got eight, so that's what the yeah. raise. So you get your bonus damage. So that is uh, twenty three <laughs> damage. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. So, what does this look like when you take out uh, this uh, this lady? Um, I'm just gonna. And then straight through the center of the forehead, like okay. past, um, past Buccino over his shoulder, just right through her, the front of her skull. Bullet goes arcing through. Nice clean actually, one. Yeah, actually penetrates because you got it in just the right spot, and she's now she falls to the ground, apparently dead. Again. Again. Wasn't she dead already? No. That's a good well, point. It's a very good point. But uh, you have uh, you have successfully uh, <laughs> taken out this uh, yeah. taken out this the uh, uh, Madame Laurent, and uh, silence falls across the uh, across the inn. Not much. It's burning. It is burning though. So <laughs> <laughs> the gentle crackling. There's the gentle crackling. The occasional minor explosion from bottles yeah. just Yeah, that's fair. Um, are you going you know, to do anything bottle. with are you going to do anything with her body? Or are you going to leave it in there or um... just as Fairbanks is running away from the burning bar, just immediately comes up all right, she bitch, at <laughs> just hooks her onto, onto the, the fire. Bar. <laughs> You're going to huck her onto the bar? Okay. Yeah, just huck her onto the flaming bar. All right. I want to grab a bottle for uh, for uh, Murphy. You did, you did good. You did good. Excellent. Did get one for Billy Joe also? <laughs> yeah, we'll just, um, we'll just get out of the hell out of this place because also when this place burns down, that satchel charge out back's going to go. Yeah. And I like oh, yeah, my good point. off the green bar. <laughs> yeah, we did there it. Is Let's this, go home. Uh... No one even got hurt. No one got scratched. Yeah. Um, if we know what we're doing. There is this moment. Oh boy. That briefly happens as you are ransacking and grabbing bottles and running. Hmm. Where. It seems for a second as though her body twitches. Oh, no. It, do it also doesn't look like she's very good at catching fire, but... Um, and her, her hand just seems to jolt up and reach and... and just sort of uh, hits, you know, sort of briefly, just weakly grabs Billy Joe's arm for a second. I thought I was outside. I know. Didn't you go in and uh, grab a bottle? You said. Or no, uh, someone else? no. I that was a that was an out of character. You should grab ah, one from Billy okay. Joe. If anyone was grabbing bottles, it would probably be me. All right. So. I'm not going back in there. I'm right. on my knees, staring at the ground. I wanted to have a moment where I just like yeah, grab a bottle because because Murphy, I know he needs it, and I was going to light my cigarette on the burning bar. In that case, I'm, I apologize. This happens to Fairbanks. Um. <laughs> um. So briefly, she grabs your arm, and she says, "Is ne la la jamais vivre?" But then appears to still be still as a corpse. I faced off against Dagon, bitch. Stay down. 
All right. One, who? Two, what did she just say? And I like look at Uriel. I, I don't think I can hear it over the crackling of the fire. It is up to uh, Horace if he remembers what it is and uh, decides later to have uh, Uriel translate it or not. No, no. I, at that, as I'm coming, coming out the door with with the bottle for Murphy, um, I just look at Tanad, the disc. Ooh, no. Actually, I would not because I have a my hindrance would not let me do that. I need it. Why do you need it? I to keep you, that thing down. You just want the power for yourself. Uh, no. I, I I want the body to stay down. I want we need the body to stay down to nod. It's on fire. You said fire was gonna take it out anyways. It, it, fire's not doing it as much and it's starting to try and curse me. Give me the freaking ward. How do you know it's a curse? It, I'm backing up slowly. <laughs> uh pulls the rifle. Give me the <laughs> fucking ward. I can't do that, Horace. Give me Why? the fucking ward. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why can't you give it to him? He just wants it for himself. This is for, this is a protection ward. He's going to try getting it into it and taking it himself. Putting it on the fucking body to nod. Now you can go in the burning building yourself and lay it on her, or I can shoot you now, patch you later. We lost the medic again. All right, all right, all right. Uriel, would you trust me? I'll go in there. I'll go. I go. I walk in the building. Is is uh Pacino still in the building? Uh, I got a bottle for Murphy. That's what I'm walking out with. All right. So are you going to stay in the building while I do this, or? I'm going to be following you in with the rifle on you. You don't put it down there. I'm shooting you. And then I'll drag you out of the burning building and patch you. But that ward's going on that pot. <laughs> All right. Better do what he says to nod. I'll put the I'll put it on the body. Okay. Um, you see, for a moment, it's like she's trying to uh, she's trying to to, to move again. Um, and she's briefly, weakly getting out. Uh, something and uh if you put the one as you as you set it down then she's like ah. she began the eyes the everything goes out in the eyes she is no longer she's now like a corpse and now she's burning mm. seems effective now let's get the fuck out of here and leave that on her well, the orders were supposed to bring it back if we could, but I don't think. Yeah, we the orders them. were deny right. if necessary. Sorry, we're gone. All right, I walk out. I look at Blevins like some bear hunt, huh? I don't answer. I'm on my knees, staring at the ground, wide-eyed, shaking. Yeah, Uriel, uh, as you're just heading out, and you're sort of sorting these things out in your head. Um, you think what she said to you is, and it was it was in archaic French, so it was kind of harder to, but it was um, something along the lines of, they will never let her have a life. Oh. Hmm. Tragedy. Wait, that's the exact quote was what she said? Or that's the, did she say sh her or did she say me? Her. In her, her exact language. Okay. Um, um, I, do I will say to, to okay. Fairbanks, I don't think she was alone. Um, well, you're not sure who she was talking about, but I will. I will mention one. Th I, I will ask one thing: Is anybody's fire alarm going off right now? Because if necessary, um, we need to. Uh, yeah. yeah. Is your is your apartment burning? <laughs> no. Be right back, though. Just okay. Kidding. All right. So um, that's an immersive uh, immersive interaction. <laughs> Just want to make go. sure that you know real life is okay. Value. Yeah. <laughs> right. Do uh, do we think the Nazis are going to send more to that graveyard? Uh, they'll they'll send them, but um, with the 
the place burning down and becoming an absolute wreck and the ward on her. It's going to take a while before the Nazis show back up, but we need to get extracted and have them send a fucking division to guard this place. I'm just thinking, uh, hey, Puccino, you got another satchel on you? Yeah, I got one more. We, uh, we left the box at the uh, Nazi site. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's, uh, three's the charm. That's actually a really good call, Murphy. If they think, <laughs> if they think there's no body, there's no investigation, no investigation, all is good. Oh, I was thinking you could, uh, rig up the coffin when they opened the... Oh, yeah, uh, no, that's what I was going for. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well. How you think, sure. Levin? Stuff. Leave him a surprise. Yeah. Nazi Christmas. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, I think that's actually where we're going to leave it. Um, as uh, you basically set that up, you set up a nice explosive surprise for the Nazis when they show up again. Uh, and uh, you make your way uh, out out east to your uh, to your pickup zone. I'm not following. No, you're not. Yeah, we're going to drag your scary ass. Scary ass. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can yeah. drag me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're, you're shell-shocked. But yeah, you, you head get, out. You get used to it, private. <laughs> yeah. Head out. You get your uh, you get your pickup. Um. And they will uh, and they and they will uh, carry you back off to safer lands for now. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the uh, yeah, the lady of uh, the 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 lady of Laurent no longer is uh, is uh, is disturbing anyone at this point um but uh, we have come to uh, we have come to our uh, to our end here um so i'd like to thank you all very much for playing i very much appreciate it um we are uh, i will say that um briefly uh that um the one that uh uh the the one that um uh, she, she was it's sort of a sort of a throw off. Um, the the one that uh, that uh, the the lady was speaking of was uh, not an additional plot monster type person, but it's actually uh, someone else. Uh, <laughs> but that's only if uh, only if we wish to reveal that uh, is that uh, is that wait? What she what she say again? The um yeah the the um yeah. Madame Laurent, by the way, the the person she was speaking of in that last line, uh, that was uh, that that was someone that uh, one of the party knows who that is. What what did she say? Uh, I will oh. never let her have peace. No, no, they they will never let her have peace. They they, they will never something along those lines. They will never let her live her life. Tell them. Oh, okay. Um, oh. Yeah, she was talking about Billy Joe. <laughs> Um, let me go ahead and put in the backup overlay real quick just before we end it. There we go. Uh, I thought I caught something in the uh, the group chat. Yeah. <laughs> Billy Joe's uh, done a bit of a disguise, um, and uh, a fun enlisting. But uh, that's uh, that is something that the witch picked up on toward the end. But thank you all once again for playing. I very much appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and do our outros. We're going to go around and uh, folks can say where you can find them and uh, any any thoughts you had, uh, any final thoughts about this session. And uh, we are going to start with Chabi. Hi, uh, I'm uh, I'm Chabi. I go by Hallway Secrets on Twitch here. I go by Hallway 7 Secrets on Twitter because usernames are hard. Um, I, I'm on occasional... Uh, shows like this one uh, fairly recently um, and uh, starting in uh, May so two weeks from now on Saturdays uh, at uh, 3 uh, p.m. Eastern I will be on the Black Feather uh, Guild's channel uh, with a uh, sci-fi game with uh, Stars Without Number is the system uh, I, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun we just had our session zero and uh, it's definitely something you know that I hope will 
you know, people will enjoy. Um, let's see. My favorite part of this game um, is probably a toss-up between uh, Uriel's shenanigans <laughs> and uh, just the the hard switch uh, with Fairbanks. Just like, yes, I am the medic to God damn it. <laughs> fuck everything. Flip all the tables. <laughs> it was fantastic. Um, and I'm not going to like it in Killing Blow. Also felt kind of cool. That was very cool. That was very badass. Awesome. All right. Now we will head over to Ellen. Uh, hi, my name is Ellen. I uh, uh, don't have any, I mean, I'm on social media, but I'm not trying to gain following or anything. Um, this is actually my first time on an RPG stream. Uh, my first time on a stream ever, maybe. And I was honored to be here. I had a lot of fun, and I am absolutely floored by the talent of all all the people I just played with. So thank you guys for having me. And everyone, if you're listening, uh, go outside and hug a tree and uh, be gentle with yourself and, and stuff. Yeah. Thank you so much for playing. That was awesome. That was uh, it was very great for first outing. So very cool. Very cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, right? No, not at all. Not at all. And uh, we will go now over to Flander. Oh, hey, I'm Flounder the Twelve. You can find me basically anywhere that I have an, uh, a profile will be under Flounder of the Twelve. So find me that way. Um, I have nothing really on, on the docket for the future. Um, so I have a, my pin tweet on Twitter is the game I wrote. So you can check that out if you'd like. Very cool. And uh, did you have any final thoughts you wanted to say about the session? Oh, uh, man, I loved just going against Pope. <laughs> just like <laughs> Pope and I were just at odds. And it's just, that's just the way it is. Oh, that's awesome. Because I was my, yeah, because yeah. my thing was that I'm suspicious and so, and curious. So I want to know everything, but I can't trust anyone else with that information. No one, no one can be trusted with information. They'll just use it wrong. <laughs> Uh, that was so uh, yeah. That was awesome. Uh, that was awesome RP, sir. So uh, thank you so much for coming and playing. Um, and uh, we will now head over to Kurt. Yeah, I am Kurt Jackson. I am Captain Kurt Jack on the Twitters. Uh, uh, the last thing that I got involved with uh, Jim was the Apocalypse World, and that was super fun. Uh, and I really want to play a campaign of this this world now. <laughs> Just because I am a huge like war movie buff, like like big red one, all those things are just so much fun. And then to throw in all this crazy supernatural stuff, I would love to see this like ragtag team go and deal with several things. Eventually, end up in Berlin, you know, having to uh, storm the castle or something. That would just be incredible. Uh, yeah, so I am really excited. And if we played again, I would definitely be able to locate a good helmet to uh, wear because I believe in hats at all times <laughs> for streaming. Um, so yeah, it was super fun. My favorite moment for sure was Private Blevins uh, just being surrounded by the, the Kentucky boy who was just <laughs> one to just figure it all out. You know, there's got to be a logical explanation to all of this stuff. Like mm -hmm. you played that to the hilt. That was amazing. So Thanks. yeah, thank you very much. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for playing. <laughs> it's very cool. Um, and uh, finally, we're going to head over to Pope. Hey everybody, Pope here. Pope World Build on the Twitter, Pope World Build on the Twitch. I lurk in all your streams. If you want to see more of this ridiculous face, you will get a number of opportunities very soon. But next, not this, not this evening, but week from tonight, over on Matt F 7s channel, we get down with a neon with the dreadful beat of DJ Strahd. Uh, our our Retroverse Curse of Strahd game. So if you want to see some very extreme bizarre pop culture retakes of one of the 5e Ravenloft classics come on down we'd love to see you uh as as for this Jim I love you Jim I hate you Jim <laughs> don't bomb my heart um <laughs> adds just this this amazing like we only got got to do this once but this amazing ragtag cast uh, like every there was a bit for every single one of you that just made me love you more. I, I adore you all. And I also want to thank all of you who joined us, whether it's live, VOD, YouTube, you're as much part of the story as we are. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Love you all, see you soon. 
Yay! Very cool. Uh, well, that just leaves me. Uh, once again, I'm Jim Ryan. Uh, I, I really enjoyed getting to run this uh, this setting. Uh, finally, it's been sort of I, I, I've been eyeing it for years just to sort of uh, get a chance. But uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, uh, to 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 run it and finally got to. And so it's uh, it's very neat. I like the I sort of like the uh, the mix of the occult and the war stuff and just kind of uh, throwing it together. It's very nice. Um, but. Uh, you can find me on uh, you can find me at other doc on both Twitch and Twitter. My website is Jim yes that Jim dot com, where you can find my geek observation podcast and links to my various other podcasts, audio dramas, writings, and such. I have links down below to my website, Twitter, YouTube channel, and some of my fiction and games I've been working on, along with links to game signups and applications to join our Discord. Um, so tonight, in about uh, Probably won't be in 20 minutes, but it'll be soon tonight. It's uh, normally at 7. I may have to take a quick breather before we leap back in, so maybe a little delayed. Uh, but we have our uh, regular Dark Matter campaign, Ghosts of Salt Maw. It's Ghosts of Salt Marsh in space, uh, which is a lot of fun. Um, and uh, then on Tuesday, uh, on Tuesday afternoon, uh, we are continuing our short campaign of Alas Vegas. Uh, run by uh, run, uh, this time uh, James in the dealer seat uh, as we continue to uh, to wander our way through a, a twisted and hellish version of Vegas. Um, on Tuesday night, uh, we are continuing our short campaign of Monster of the Week, uh, which is uh, you know the short campaign for April. It's uh, it's been a delight so far, and I can't wait to dig further in. Um, on Wednesday night, uh, we're trying to get back to our regular Masks campaign that's run by our guest GM, uh, Mole, Mole Thulu. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's been very cool. Hopefully we'll be able to this week. We'll see. Because uh, there's a lot of real life stuff going on. But uh, we're, we're going to be back to it soon. Um, then on Thursday nights, uh, we have started our short campaign of The Sprawl, uh, which is powered by the Apocalypse Cyberpunk game, uh, run by guest GM Brian. Um, and, uh, I, I cannot wait to dig into that one because, uh, we just did our session zero and it was a lot of fun. Um, so very much looking forward to that. Um, I'm, I'm playing a very kind person who, who, who uh, uh, does a lot of killing. Um, <laughs> and, um, then, uh, on Saturday, uh, Saturday nights, I run, uh, our, uh, Invisible Sun campaign, The Edge of Paradox. Um... And uh, then that brings us back around to Sunday. So one week from today, the one shot will be Futurity. We didn't get to do it last weekend because I was sick. Um, but uh, we're going to take another stab at it. Uh, that's uh, the, uh, the uh, Futurity, the RPG, uh, GMless RPG uh, put together by Summer from off the table. It's about uh, oracles. And uh, so we're going to uh, give that a, a spin on the channel. Very much looking forward to it. So signups right now are open for next month's short campaign. Uh, which is going to be Call of Cthulhu. I'm actually going to take a stab at running uh, that game itself. I've played it a lot over the years. Um, never run it, uh, so I need to. I need to. I need to better learn how to run it. So uh, that's that's where we're going to do it. So just going to be playing uh, 1920s Call of Cthulhu, um, and uh, signups are open for that through Wednesday, the uh, 29th of this month, um, and uh, then shortly thereafter we'll announce the cast. Uh, very much looking forward to picking that up and giving it a spin. Um, so for folks who want to sign up for that or for other things that are going to be popping up as time goes on, uh, you can get to signups by clicking down below on RPG sign up or you can go to jimyesthatgym.com and click on game sign up. As always, beginners are more than welcome. So when we hit the end card, uh, what shall we do? I shall send a raid um, over to... Let's see, who's doing what uh, right now? I think I'm going to send a raid. Possibly, it's going to be either Dice Tyrants or Open for Adventure. We'll figure out which um, as, this, uh, as this goes on, as uh, folks are doing things. Probably going to be uh, Open for Adventure. I think that's where we're going to send it. Um, but uh, we'll figure that out. Um, but so I'm going to go, uh, we're going to go over there and say hi to them. Feel free to hang on if you so, are so inclined and say hi to them with us. That again is when we hit the end card. In the meantime, folks, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you all of a sudden. Farewell. <laughs>